Okay. This caught it instantly before I did this. Okay. Well, we saw that last time. Oh, uh, we can go through the intro again, though, if you want. Why not? I mean, last time on <laughs> King's Quest VI... Hideo Kojima presents King's Quest VI. <laughs> Long ago, in the castle of a kingdom called Devontree... Oh, that's right. Reboot. Yeah, it's the sleep. Yeah. Alexander, here you are. Oh, you're still not thinking about Kasima, are you? Hmm? I Cassandra or Cassie or whatever her name was. You've got to I've only seen Kasima. her for five After minutes. All, you only met her that once. I know. Have you discovered anything about the land of the Green Isles? But to be no. fair, he hasn't been out of the castle no like ever. It. Yeah. It's like she's just vanished. I wish I could help. Please try to think about something else, dear. I'll try, Mother. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kit. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's been a week. How have you already forgotten? Has it kind of been a week, too, since he's last seen her? I couple, don't know. A couple months? I don't, I don't know what the time frame is in between. Few months. I feel so alone. I Trapped in the ooze. <laughs> Kasima, wait! Mother! Mother, come quick! Alexander, what on earth? You're white as a ghost. It's the King's Quest flute trill. It is. <laughs> it is the famous King's Quest mirror. flute trill. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How? The wow. Stars. The fuck you talking about? The stars outside her window. I can Somebody never slip the something stars. in your food. Oh, Alexander, <laughs> if you really go, it will be all right, mother. I promise. Well, okay. Uh, off you go. If you say so. <laughs> At least he's out of the house. Yeah, you know what? That's right. <laughs> Mom's like, finally. <laughs> yes, that's a great idea. Take the ship. <laughs> yeah, here, here's all your stuff. But I didn't. Don't you worry about Don't it. Don't worry. I got everything set for you. Oh, uh, game audio seems loud, but I'll, I'll get to that in a sec. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah. I'll have, well, it'll have to wait. Because if I... <laughs> if I We've got animations to watch. Yep, and if I boop off, then it'll just go away for everybody, including the stream. So. Prince Alexander sailed the known seas and beyond. Ooh. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting in this cabin, just like... <laughs> <laughs> Alexander, this is not how you navigate my stars. <laughs> no. First of all, there are no stars when it's sunny out. <laughs> it looks like a cloud! <laughs> Yar, he's got a ring around his eye. Yar. <laughs> his tongue's blue when he sticks it out. They just gave him the telescope for the... Yeah, they just gave him the little telescope so he could feel like he's doing something. They know where they were going. Yeah. Hi, Tarks. Hi, <laughs> Tarks. As the ship nears the shore, day turns to night and the sea turns violent. Oh, I should have had the, the credits queued up for that. <laughs> uh -oh. Just do the speedy credit thing. <laughs> oh, my screensaver's on. Hold on. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Tark said, I had this as a kid and never got anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, get ready. We're going to get somewhere. I love that enthusiasm. We got this. You come for high-level gameplay. That translates to any game I play. I mean... Sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Directed. Thinking about Pun Island. Can't wait, says Kit. <sighs> I watched... Uh, Retsupore do this. But that was like back in like 2012. So... It's been a bit. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Because I feel like it was one of those that I kind of wanted to watch, and so mm-hmm. I didn't watch it because I just never sat around to watch it. Now you get to experience it! Wow! One QA person. One person for the whole team. Alexander I mean, at least they had a QA. True, sure, sure, you're right. Beach. For a moment, he is too dazed to remember how he got here. Okay. Then Working with a place that have a dev company that didn't have any sea. QA, I am happy to at least have one. his men <laughs> safely into the lifeboats, a gigantic wave picked him up and tossed him overboard into the churning sea. That was the last he'd seen of his crew. Debris from the shipwreck is scattered along the shore, but of the lifeboats and his men, there is thankfully no trace. He can only hope and pray that the lifeboat survived the currents <laughs> and that his men made their way safely back to Devontree. On a lifeboat. There are two <laughs> things here that you need to grab. Oh, I love this. Uh, I love he the looks walking. Naked. I love the walking. It looks like he's really strutting. Hold on. Let me fix the mm-hmm. idea. Yeah, but it looks naked. Okay. It, it's just. It, it's just orange. They're all orange. The mm-hmm. icons in this one. Oh, oh hold Ooh, on. Ooh, we second. can put the speed up. Yep. <laughs> Whoop. Volume wasn't even all the way up. We could turn the speech oh. off. Oh, oh interesting. The Is that too fast? <laughs> Alexander no, that's how no everyone plays. Debris. Is it? Let's go grab this. Alexander picks up his royal insignia ring from the beach. Was there something glowing there? Because I did not yep. see it. <laughs> yeah. Surround on this lush volcano. No wonder. Isle. The remains of Alexander's sailing ship lie dashed upon the distant shore. There are two things I need. Yep. Alexander oh yeah, Kit. Himself that I don't understand dev companies or has people who what... develop stuff and don't test them. I just don't get Alexander it. Alexander has no use for the ship debris. Sonic 06 is a quality product. <laughs> Alexander has no. Uh, you're looking on the disturb. wrong side of the screen, maybe. Alexander sees no. Uh, oh my God! Pushes the plank <laughs> what? To one side. <laughs> <laughs> How come you didn't know that? Buried under sand. <laughs> oh boy. This narrator. He sounds familiar. I right? feel yeah. There's nothing of interest in that part of the box. Excuse me. <laughs> there totally is. <laughs> takes the coin and leaves the ruined okay. box where it is. It's gonna be this type of game, huh? <laughs> is it Brian Cummings? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it Sokolov? Hold on. That's not Sokolov, I don't think. I don't think it is either. But... I, something about his walking. So we came here for Kasim. But... It but looks it... too fast. I mean, yeah, I guess you could slow it down. No, I know. I like it. It's no, it's the, fine. The kicky kickies. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom. There you go. <laughs> Who's the narrator? Good day, peddler. Good day, sir. If you would like to get one of my fine new lamps, I'll need an old lamp in trade. Isn't it a rather bad business? Taking old lamps and giving new lamps in exchange? 
Well, there's always a chance that I'll find a genie. If I had a genie, I'd be richer than a king. Besides, there's always a roaring business in You're already a king. luminaries. Okay. Oh, Alexander sees he's nothing a lot particularly shit. interesting there. Great. He did a lot of G.I. Joe. Um, but it's still oh, right. This one we have to touch the doors to go in them. What the fuck? <laughs> Hello. I will be right up. <clears throat> Well, there are a bunch of things you need in the bookstore. Good day, merchant. Can you tell me what land this is? Why, certainly. This is the Isle of the Crown. It's the buyer get out the land. Green Isle of the land of the Green <laughs> Isles. Thank the fates. I knew I was close when we sank, but I dared not hope. Tell me, how fair is your Princess Cosima? The princess? She is well enough, I what suppose. Princess? Is she near <laughs> the castle of the crown on the hill, sir? She was executed weeks ago. <laughs> for treason. We haven't had a princess the for twenty can years. Alexander with nothing but warmth. <laughs> Alexander rests his feet for a moment. <sighs> Alexander picks up and leaves idly through a book called "The Changing Role of Court Entertainers Through the Ages." Well, that was refreshing. Alexander is not interested in those self-help books. Oh, is he above those? Thinking of Cosima, Alexander decides to leaf through one of the volumes of love poetry. He reads, Thy hair, thy lips, thy beauteous face, and all thy studied female grace have won for thee anon a place within this broken breast. Oh, wow. Bad. And another. <laughs> Upon the shore the lilies bend, untouched by worldly care. Where shadow they her earthly bed, oh, that she were not there. Yikes. And another. What was it when I looked at you? What power has chained me through and through and binds my heart this guy's looking over so like, oh, tight geez, I cannot idiots. live without the sight of you? <laughs> What nameless thing has captured me and made me powerless to flee? He's actually reading what this out loud. Is it without a name <laughs> that brings my mind air back the same to thee? The name of love cannot apply. Its commonness does not decry the haunted, hunted, painful hey, cry that my heart hey. makes for you, that air my soul eternal makes for you. Ho ho ho. A little this close sucks. to home, that one. Alexander returns the love poem book to the shelf. Oh? Alexander is not interested. Pick up the... Alexander picks up the fallen page. Sounds like he's just talking in third person. I see that yep. old volume has lost <laughs> another page. You may keep it if you he like, just stares at him like I the have owl. the stubborn thing back in place two times already. I do rather like it. Thank you, merchant. In the right. end, really the, see, the on the merchant's wood desk? Mm-hmm. That's an actual book there, if you could touch it. How much for that book on the counter, merchant? It is a fine book, is it not? I obtained it from the estate of the one and only magician <laughs> this kingdom has it's ever had. Atlas Shrugged. He himself into an aardvark in the end. Oh, Dougie so wonders what this is. I never found the spells all that <laughs> This is King's myself. Quest. This is King's Quest. Point and click game from 1990 yes. something. You what, three, I think. If you Two. can find Two. another rare book, something a bit The only more reason I know that is because I looked up the narrator. I might <laughs> oh, okay. be willing to exchange the spell book for it. I didn't hear that. The shopkeeper oh, doesn't look yeah. can't get it yet. Um, and now the any other thing, the white stool insertion. at the near the door, you need it. That's the other thing. Alexander picks up the book from the small table. Oh, yes, please. Dianetics, of course. You have my most <laughs> thanks for doing so good, sir. Really? Thanks. <laughs> it's the worst book ever, so he gave it to you for free. <laughs> Perfect. 
That sounds about right. I haven't been able to sell that for years. Take it, please. Right. Like it's right by the door so we can <laughs> run away with it. <laughs> Check didn't the they, pots. Didn't they do that? Yeah. At Barnes and Noble? Hey. Oh, this bear is awesome. That mm -hmm. is an awesome bear. Hey, what a stuffed up? bear probably has stuffed fleas. I mean, they put all the cheats up by the doors. To keep his distance. It sings Louis Armstrong in the uh, in the evening. <gasps> Aww. Mm -hmm. Watch for that. Alexander takes a mint. Fuck yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! Look at the little mint. If mm. Alexander wants to exchange one of his possessions for an item in the pawn shop. He'll have to arrange it with the pawn shop owner first. He'll we trade it with this mint. For trade. <laughs> we already just picked we already, up. We already took the mint. <laughs> Alexander takes a closer look at the item. They only the take mints in this establishment. I guess. What's I'm that? interested in that mechanical nightingale on the counter. What do you desire to give me in trade? The items on the front counter are all of equally slight value, worth only a copper or two. They are handy items, nonetheless. Have sure, I need all of them. You will eventually. How about a mint? You I took a mint. <laughs> Help yourself. That is what they're there for. <laughs> I took a mint. <laughs> Aren't you going to punish me? <laughs> Alexander takes a closer look at the item. You can give him something for one of these items right now. And you want the nightingale, actually, when you select it. I'm interested it. in that. What do you? What do you want to give me? A coin? Would you be interested in trading for this book? I am afraid not. Books are more my neighbor's line of work. After all, I would not want him selling curiosities. <laughs> Funny, it's your neighbor's. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes. The copper? No. Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. The coin. Just give him money wants to for goods and services? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? If Alexander, if Ale I have this copper coin. Is it of any value to you at all? Hmm, most interesting. I have never seen a Daventry coin before, but it is copper genuine enough. I might even find I a buyer this who is to make another bird. Currency. It's ugly as sin. The but... items on the front counter <laughs> are the only things in the store that I can let go for Who's the Who's this loser on the coin? <laughs> you may make your That's my there. dad. Alexander looks at the <laughs> items on the counter yeah. to make his selection. All right, Nightingale? Yeah. That okay. mechanical Nightingale looks intriguing. I believe I'll take it. been poking at it for five minutes. Here Very you go. Well. Your coin is well spent. <laughs> Remember, this is a pawn shop. I am always willing to take back my own goods in trade. I'll remember. Thank you. Wait. I'll remember. Uh, ah. I forgot this guy's name. It's a Cyclops. Pawn shop. Uh, Ah, <laughs> Prince, what is it? what's his name? Oh, Alexander. Prince Alexander will remember that. Hey, sir, I like your finest mint. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like your finest <laughs> mint. <laughs> uh, anything else I should get here while, or is, you don't have to tell me specifically, but should I stay, stick around and poke, or should I? Nah. Look at this gigantic knife. Over I here. think it's a bat wing. Is it? Click okay. Alexander prefers to keep his leather jerkins firmly on the ground. Okay, what? those are wings oh. then. It looks like a, a comically oh. large butcher knife. Because like, <laughs> like, there's the bolts like in the, in Even the handle. Even kids like it's a wing. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> I see what you were talking about, Alexander though. It's like one of those anime swords. Just now in his life. A large round pot is one of the pottery pieces on display outside the Let's go visit the castle, see if you could go get Cosima. Oh, yeah, I mean, we're here for that. I suppose. As you said on the screen last time. I should have had the, should have had the Flintstones <laughs> kicky sound. I was going to say gas, gas, gas. <laughs> I'm just going to hide in here. <laughs> I'm not ready. I mean, yeah. Okay. You gotta make yourself presentable. No strangers may enter the castle of the crown. What's with okay, little... see you later. What's with their little <laughs> tails? Maybe you can do something there. 
Okay. Oh, they actually are. They actually have tails, don't they? Yes, they are. They're furries. Dog people. Oh, okay. <laughs> dog people. They're dog people. Yeah. They're dog they people. I thought it was part of their outfit. Um, so I'm so like, you what could do they give them little... something to enter. Homestuck. <laughs> 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 Uh, let's just walk over here real quick. The narrow path ends abruptly at a pile of boulders. Oh, if there's no path, we can't walk. <laughs> Mr. Krabs walking. That's <laughs> <laughs> no strangers may enter the castle of the crown. Show him your ring. Yeah. Check out. Shove this. your royalty in their Alexander face. Decides yeah. to show his royal insignia ring to the castle of the crown guards. I have With a ring that has a D on it. It is the only possible calling <laughs> card he can think of. Not like every one will know what that means. I'm Prince Alexander of Daventry. <laughs> I'm an acquaintance of Princess Cosima. If you could just inform her that I'm here, please. <laughs> so everyone says. Let me just look at that ring. What does it D say? D for right? dingus. <laughs> Kingdom of Daventry, Prince Alexander. Ah, wait here while I go see what Captain Saladin that thinks. That doesn't it is. what. That's not what it says on that ring. Yep. <laughs> Come <That> on. Is... <laughs> word for word. <laughs> Quick, run in, run, run, go. What is it like? Point zero four size script. <laughs> on. Yep, yep. The guard returns oh, they're all a moment later people. with a majestic-looking creature. Captain Saladin speaks with a voice that is gentle, but reflects a will of iron. Prince well, Alexander hey, you can't come here. It's a Kali <laughs> puppy! It is a Kali. Yeah, it's cute. But I'm sure Wizir al Hazred will want to meet you. If That's indeed, a voice. If you are a friend of the princess, please follow me. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like, like mega, megabyte. Megabyte. It's totally reboot. megabyte. Yep, yep. I bet you it is. One hundred percent megabyte. Yep. Lord Al Hazred, a visitor to see. Oh, there actually are people. Prince in this. Alexander of Daventry. And put a shirt I mean, on. Is it that you seek, Prince <laughs> Alexander? <laughs> Pardon the intrusion, my lord, but I came to see Princess Cosima. Some months ago, my father, <laughs> King Graham, saved my family and I from imprisonment under an evil wizard named Mordak. Months, the same months wizard ago. that kidnapped the mm. princess? Exactly. When my father rescued us, he also liberated Cosima and sent her home. Then your father has my gratitude, and that of the entire kingdom. But I'm afraid I still fail to see the purpose of your visit. <clears throat> I just want well, to say hi. <laughs> I came to make sure that oh, Cosima arrived safely and to pay my respects. Yeah. Before we parted, she gave me an invitation to visit. I have no doubt she did exactly that at the time, Prince But Alexander. you know how teenage girls are. However, things have greatly changed for Cosima since her ordeal in Mordak's castle. Cosima's That's him being the sexist, not me, I promise. And died uh -huh. while she was gone. Cosima is sequestered in mourning for them as befits a princess. She is not receiving visitors of any kind. Even who are if you? you were, I do not think your visit would be. <laughs> what do you mean, who is he? Who is oh, this guy? guy? Yeah, he's the vizier. Oh, uh, which we oh, all see. know. Obviously, They're always evil. Gone, she mm. no longer has so the he nice. wants to be a careful yeah. maiden. Look at his eyes. As was her parents' wish, Cassima and I. I guess to be wed. you might notice we something about his eyes. Kingdom together. I assure you, our marriage is all Cassima wants now. As a prince Wait, which and a guy's gentleman, eyes, the middle guy? It yeah. would be best that you leave before <laughs> yeah. there is any further. He won't be able to see it. No. Well, I saw his see. eye glinting. Like a yeah, it I does that. Mistaken. It does that. I thought oh. for that's what you that... Does he have a glass eye? A young man sees what he wishes to see. Uh, I can't say too much. Your time okay. No, it's to not. The land of the green I don't know why it does that actually, May except for home be swift reasons. It's probably be like, Perhaps hey, look at these. The opportunity to look around yeah, fair land it's like, notice me. I do like the pixel work in this picture. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The kingdom is rather, shall we say, 
inhospitable these days. <laughs> but it is your neck. You may risk it, if you please. Captain Saladin will escort you from the castle. Good day. All right. <laughs> there we go. See, I, when I played this game, it was all—it was never voiced over. So yeah. <laughs> voices are new to me. Kit says, "Don't you dare spoil it, Ryan." Respect his wishes and not return. For the eyes. Not oh. To let you into the castle again. She said, "Don't Good you day, dare spoil Lord. it." <laughs> oh, well. Captain Saladin whispers something to the guard dogs. No, I think he wants gate. us to figure it out anyway. Understanding. So. Now I'm off to fight Bob in a game. <laughs> Take over mainframe. Alexander has a feeling they won't be letting him into the castle again. Yeah, they just said no and don't return. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. Well, I better get All out right, of here. So, yeah, let's go explore the rest of the place, I guess. <laughs> I do like the... The fast animation. Alexander to be examines fair. the tree's hollow, but finds nothing of interest. Okay. Ah. Just want to make sure. Can you put something in there? We don't really have much. Never mind. Yeah. 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 I did check some of the pots. This one's open. Alexander though. sees nothing this dude. particularly we interesting did. there. Oh, he did. Yeah, he's, he's like, hey, give me a new, oh, an old that lamp, and guy. I'll give you another lamp. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I was looking up the name. <laughs> ah. Uh, you can ignore her. Phew. <laughs> a trail of dust is I behind know. him. <laughs> he's basically Snake when um, he's catching up with uh, Sigint and uh, Eva in Metal Gear Sigint. <laughs> Metal Gear Sigint. Alexander feels his pockets carefully to make sure he hasn't lost anything. I'm sorry? Okay. Uh, knock on the door. That boat is not going anywhere. Oh, there's the door. That I was door. like, where did the guy go? Yes. Yeah. I was like, the. Yeah, what do you want? Alexander promises himself that he will not go home I... until he has determined what Cosima's feelings are for him what? and if That's she needs not... his help. <laughs> That's not what the we're rope talking is about. Off and refuses to comment. <laughs> it's a really hard click. Alexander yeah. Pro Go away! The ferry's out of business. Aww. Alexander took too long. Feels his pockets. Nope. <laughs> Put it to like the top right of the door. Okay. And I like said the on his out of head, business. What do you want to keep bothering me for? Oh gosh. <laughs> Here? Yeah. Alexander promises himself. Oh, okay, a little more to the right. Reply. Uh, he doesn't reply. The away, boat the doesn't reply. Oh, I thought he said he doesn't reply. Okay. Oh. He said Mort. <laughs> I he said the boat doesn't <laughs> Is his name Mort? <laughs> his name is Boat. Maybe put it on his shoulder or something? Alexander. Alexander. Oh Alex my gosh. Good day, sir. Alexander needs to move over. You own this boat? <laughs> None of your business, stranger. Go away. The ferry's out of business. Uh He's <laughs> supposed to just be able to talk to him. Maybe try again. I have nothing else Maybe to do, one sir. Of those. <laughs> <laughs> I said the ferry's out of business. What do you want to keep bothering me for? I really would like to just talk to you, sir. I've got nothing to say to you, stranger. How do you know about that? Give him a mint. <laughs> Breath is terrible, sir. <laughs> Alexander... Have the sweet, Ale delicious flavor. That boat is not going in. That what would Alexander do with that huge sheet of canvas? Uh, oh, my God. Make a <laughs> I really have to walk away every time. <laughs> I said the ferry's out of business. But well, you keep opening up. Alexander Prom. Alex. The sale refuses. Alex. Alex. The. Alex. Alex. The sale. Alex. Alex. <laughs> go.
<laughs> isn't that song from Hamilton? Isn't that what that is? <laughs> Alex. Alex. I said the fit. All right. All right, listen. Alexander the eats the mint. Wait, no. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, stale, perhaps. No, oh, well, you're getting another. Really no, you got to get to another mint. To you, sir. I've got nothing to say to you, stranger. He don't like us. Yeah, go get another mint. Okay. <laughs> just, just, just swinging by for a quick mint, sir. <laughs> Good day. Good day. No time, need a mint. Bye. Sorry. <laughs> go in the bookstore again. Hello. Poke that man. Hello. Poke Hello. Him. Now, what can I do for you? For some inexplicable reason, Alexander feels compelled to avoid this hooded old man. Oh, whatever. Hey, wait! Good day, sir. I saw a glint in his eye. This old man just ignores Alexander. Give him. All right, a mint. leave again. Would you like a mint? Because I won't accidentally click on myself here. Why use that on? The mint might melt if Alexander held it too tightly. Use the mouse pointer to click on the, yeah. Would you care for a mint, stranger? Mm, give it to me. Yum! <laughs> Odd. Is he drunk? The old man sways momentarily, but seems to quickly recover. That must be some strong mint. Altoids, perhaps. Yeah. How do you want Good to talk? Day, sir. The mysterious old man. Wait, you took our mint and then won't give us anything back for information? <laughs> Go get another mint. You always want a mint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good day or whatever. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good day. <laughs> Thank you for all these mints. Man, Maybe go back up to like... the to the the Bokai now. The Bokai is where you gotta go. Like <laughs> you, you should talk to. I don't know what I'm missing here. I'm looking at a guide too now because I'm really confused after we went back. <laughs> <laughs> I have another mint to eat in front of you, sir. <laughs> I said the fairy's out of business. What do you want to keep bothering me for? Okay, Mario, calm down. You're just supposed to talk to him. Where's my brother Luigi? <laughs> uh, I got all these holes to plug up me. Uh, Kid has a suggestion. <laughs> oh, what's Kid's suggestion? Uh, yeah, because the there's supposed to be something that happens here, too. The, the nightingale, nightingale in the, the tree. tree. I think you have to do that first. Um, I mean, go visit the tree. If the nightingale's there, then yeah. Do we have to put the metal night nightingale in there? Oh, you hear it. Oh. A little bit. Try to nightingale <laughs> it up. You you would usually Alexander see it on a branch. Want to disturb the old tree. Alexander. What? There's no reason. Alex. 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 <laughs> I don't see a bird. I don't either. Yeah, it's, it's not tree, here. Give me a minute. Luxurious limbs out over the crossroads. Just keep clicking on whatever. A grand rocks. Rocks. Alexander <laughs> is standing at a crossroads. To the left, he can see a village. To the right, a castle. From the south come the sounds of the sea. Hmm. Yeah. Here. There's no reason to. There's no. There's no so reason to use like that the on the rock. So you can't put like the bird and like a little knot in there. Alexander doesn't see a reason to put that in the tree's hop. What other Alexander? Uh, I mean, you will use the nightingale in this spot later. Oh. But uh, walk north along the path and exit the village. You'll come to a small cottage with a servant girl or maybe a slave girl. Okay, didn't have to add that. Working in the garden. <laughs> 
you'll be able to help her uh, oh, later, so but for now you up. can't do anything, so just keep walking west along the path to the ferry dock. Sure, uh, as you come to the dock, you'll see a boy rocks. jump into the water and offer you to show you the way to the next island. Note oh. that his odd glowing eye. The entrance to the We didn't see anyone jump in the water. No, we did not. No, we didn't. And that's why I'm like, why not? A worn wooden vessel has. Hmm. Uh, Something else I was quite... supposed to do in town? Maybe. Uh, use a hand on the door, then talk to him when he comes An to old the door. Beggar is peddling his... Give the beggar a mint. Give everyone a mint. Yeah, we'll give the beggar a mint. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Would you accept oh. this in exchange for one of your lamps, peddler? I am only interested in old lamps, son. Sorry. Talk to Ali. Who? Like, actually talk to him. Pawn shop? Um, the, the pawn shop guy. Good day. Back for another mint, I see. No, no, not this time. <laughs> Good day, merchant. What can no, you we tell me about the land now. of the Green Isles? I can tell you she is in a dark time. Without the ferry, communication between the islands has ground to a halt, and so nearly has my business. Why the long ages of peace have ended, and why the Crown has not done something about it is beyond me. But then, I am a shopkeeper, not a politician, and can only hope for better days. Right. How bide you, good merchant? Quite well, though a purchase would not hurt me any. But you don't want us to purchase, you want us to barter. Um, talk to the bookstore owner. Oh, that is Ali. Good. It's his bookstore. <laughs> yeah, I was like... Oh. What can you tell me about the land of the Green Isles? That is a big question, young man. Perhaps you will be so kind as to first tell me who you are and what exactly what? you want to know. My name is Alexander. You said that this is Yeah, this is what we missed. Town, but Whoops. I'd oh, like to know weird. whatever else you can tell me about this island. <laughs> oh, of course. There are other islands nearby. This island is called the Isle of the Crown because the royal family's castle is here. Besides the castle, we also But we had to talk to him after we went into the castle. The west, there are at least oh. three other mm. islands. The Isle of the Sacred was Mountain, 1992. the Isle of the Beast, and the Isle of Wonder. I got us had that game. Does no one know for certain? <laughs> yeah. This is no I mean, I'm sure there's a reason why that is. It's also a point-and-click adventure game. Yeah, exactly. Isles has always been a place of vague boundaries, as if islands come and go. Legend speaks of a fourth island. An oh, we need to make the rope guy believe, says Kit. I myself okay. have never seen it. Then, too, the land of the Green Isles is said to exist on the boundaries of this world and the next. Even darker places are reputed to be closer here than anywhere else in the world. Yeah, I'm That's pretty sure he does, claim. Kit. After this conversation, <laughs> yeah, he'll leave. Yes, but probably just local superstition. We who live here on the Isle of the Crown, at least, sleep well enough at night. Those first three islands you mentioned, how might I learn more about them? Ideally, a young man seeking such knowledge would travel to their shores and learn about them firsthand. You have Meeting books! Meeting leaders of each place would be helpful, naturally. <laughs> Leave an old man alone! The ferry no longer runs between <laughs> the islands. <laughs> there has been much political unrest, and it has been too dangerous to travel for years. Perhaps the ferryman can tell you more. He has little enough to do these days. And if you haven't been there already, you might seek an audience at the castle. Thank you kindly, merchant, for all your good advice. Ah, but advice is free, Alexander. Making use of it costs much more. Okay. Well, great. Do I don't know it? exactly if that guy will I'll leave, but you, um, quite well, thank. You. you can leave now. Try to go back to the ferryman now. Okay.
There is a stupid kid. <laughs> Save. Hey, stranger, come join me. The water is wonderful, and I can show you the way to the next island. What? Well, that sounds great. <laughs> some kid going to some random guy saying, "Hey, come swim with me, stranger." A so young weird. boy is happily swimming in the sea off the docks. Come on. Nope. Good day. I'm Alexander. What are you doing in the sea? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm swimming. I mean, come join me. The water's wonderful. I can show you the way to the next island. My dude. Well, okay. Yeah. Of the shore. It looks like the easiest way to get into the water is just to jump off the pier. The powerful currents grab Alexander. Struggle as he might, he feels himself being pulled out to sea. <laughs> the kid points and laughs at him. <laughs> Not a very good swimmer, are you? <laughs> Help me! Sorry, I yeah. think not. <laughs> no, I don't think As I will. <laughs> submerges for the third time. Alexander finds himself pondering the wisdom of going out on a limb for a stranger. Oh, they... They give you a stern talking to when you die. Wow. What is this? Next. Alexander what is this eldritch place? Oh, <gasps> this is the place with the xylophone bones. Yes! You know about this? I know about this. Yeah. Okay, so um, ignore him. Just go no bug the fairy man again. <laughs> go drown, kid. That's strange. The young huh. boy in the water oh, well. just disappeared. <laughs> oh well, perhaps he just dove under the water. <laughs> Essentially, he said, "Perhaps he just dropped." <laughs> perhaps he's I said the dead. He's out of business. What do you want to keep bothering me for? I'm in love with you, sir. Alexander Pro the sail refuses. Alex, Alex, Alex. Excuse Upper me. Yeah. Okay. My name is Alexander. <laughs> Made it. The owner of the bookshop in the village. It's a big clicky thing, and I'm not sure what to click on. I hear you used to run this ferry. It's like where the little point comes down to should be pointing on like the person's head that you want to talk to. I can't see why the ferry's not running. You know. I understand. I'd just like to talk to you about the islands, if you don't mind. Well, I guess it'd be all right if Ali sent you. Well, don't just stand there. Come on inside. Bally? It means that Ali, it's Ali, apparently. What is it you wanted to talk about, young man? Hey, you know, if Ali sent you. You can I'm talk to him. To these islands. I'd like Short to learn for alligator. about the area. So you said outside. What is it you want to know? Well, for one thing, why has the island's only ferry been dry docked? Huh. It just ain't safe to sail these days. Well, what I would mean, the look island's the beauty ferry. call? Wazir al Hazred ordered the ferry closed till things settled down. Me? I don't think she'll ever see water again. <sighs> but why are the islands... Uh... You got me. Something about stolen property or some such thing. Stolen Tis a treasure real shame. Map. Things used to no, be so stolen friendly. Stolen treasure Then map. this unrest is recent. A few years is all, but it's been long enough. Perhaps if the ferry were repaired... This old thing? This fairy's been out of water so long, she's no longer even seaworthy. Her boards have dry rot. She'd fall apart at the first taste of seawater. But there must be some way to get off this island. There's only one other way to travel that I know of. Zipline. Magic map. The owner of the <laughs> pawn shop can tell you more about that than I can, Alexander. What about your... Lamp? The lamp um, chose not to illuminate well, I love Alexander. lamp. <laughs> uh, you can keep talking to him. It's like a mint. <laughs> he'll, he'll keep talking more, actually. Tell me more about the fairy. I remember when I used to ferry Queen Alaria and Princess Cosima themselves. There was no thought of danger back then. They used to go visiting to care for the needy and to. Can you actually want to grab something from here? I see it. I remember their last. Yep, they trip. always give you Prince something. It started mm -hmm. getting nasty by then, and when they came back aboard, I gathered that the queen and the princess had been received a bit coldly. Princess Cosima was know such what a I mean. pretty thing, and she was terribly upset. 
but who could be spreading these lies, she asked the queen, but the queen had no answer. Huh. What do you do now that the ferry no longer operates? Me? I'm out of a job. The job my ancestors have held for generations. I'm the only one trained to avoid the reef and the rocks. But that knowledge does me no good now. Is there no other boat on the island? One that might be more seaworthy? Boats don't last long on these shoals, as you may have found out if you got here by ship. You can be quite sure that this old ferry is, or was, the only craft on the island. Tell me more about Princess Cosima. Ah, such a beautiful child, and so pure mm. of heart. Why, a contrary thought has never crossed her mind. Her mother was the same, the king and queen. They served the islands, not the other way around. Always thinking about the people. <sighs> they are sorely missed. Can't believe they're dead. What else can you tell me about the land? Let's see. The Isle of Wonder's a lovely spot. A bit crazy, mind you. Gotta have a good sense of humor to enjoy a tour. Isle of Wonder's fun. What else can you tell me about the land? The Isle of the Beast is pretty, but unfortunately, you can't get very far onto the island. Um, so... The beast? Cosima yep. always makes me think of, um, there was an old journalist for IGN, for IGN GameCube. It was Casimacina. People were calling him Asimacina. And so every time uh -huh. I hear Cosima, it makes me think of that. What else can you tell me about <laughs> the land? The inhabitants of the Isle of the Sacred Mountain are the most gorgeous creatures you'll ever see. If you ever get to see them, that is. Well, I'm just gonna take this. There's nothing of interest on that particular... I see you have a rabbit's foot. Has it brought you much luck? As you can see, my luck's been out for some time now, despite that old charm. Why don't you take it with you? Perhaps giving the darn thing away will bring me good fortune at last. Perhaps it will at that. Thank you. Nice. Anything else to talk about, you think? Nah. He'll just start repeating about the islands. Well, I think I'll be going now. Thanks for allowing me into your home. Posh, not at all. It breaks the boredom, if you know what I mean. <sighs> <laughs> Alright, so what do we get? Rabbit's foot. So we got, yeah, rabbit's foot, pretty, and information that, uh, the pawn shop owner has a magic map. Oh. Um, but go to the bookstore first. Good day again. This guy I remember I from have... Ratsu Prey. Yeah, yeah good old Jolly. In the stuffed chair. Or Jallo. He wears a vest, balloon style pants, and pointed he shoes. He wears a vest. There's something He's the real king. Silly about the man, as oh, shit. He's a performer of some sort. Good day, sir. Is there anything you can tell me about the land of the Green Isles? I'm sorry, but I have no time for idle I just got stung by a bee. I'm too worried about the princess. <laughs> Um, well, he doesn't care about you, but you can shove your royalty in his face, and maybe he will again. <laughs> Determined to learn more about the strange man's relationship with the princess, Alexander shows the man his insignia ring and formally introduces himself. I'm sorry to insist, but my name is Alexander of Daventry, and... I appreciate <laughs> the offer of the ring, Alexander, but I'm afraid I'm already spoken. Daventry? Where have I heard of Daventry? Flying flit mice. You must be Prince Alexander. Cosima told face me would about scare you me when as a she kid. arrived home. Yeah. How came you here? <laughs> Why, by a ship now wrecked upon the sand. But you know Cosima? Kind of scares she me now. She truly spoke of me? <laughs> yes, yes, I, I saw her briefly when she first returned home. She mentioned a prince to me. A prince Alexander of Daventry. I'm afraid that was before she was told about her parents' deaths. You see, she arrived home a few weeks too late. The king and queen thought they'd never see her again. It is said they died of heartbreak. I'm afraid she's blamed herself. What a terrible homecoming. If we had only known. <laughs> terrible indeed, poor thing. 
Everyone in the kingdom seems to despair with her these days. The streets are silent. Where is she now? The princess is sequestered in mourning. It's a rather dated tradition, and not required, but the wazir says she insisted out of respect. I see. You've yet to say who you are. She probably ran now away. You know the princess. I? Oh, pardon me. My name is Chalo. I am clown to the royal court and have been since the marriage of Cosima's parents, King Caliphon and Queen Alaria. Oh, those were the happy days. The pair of them were so full of joy and life, so in love, and Cosima's birth. It would be hard to explain how long they had waited, how they had hoped for a child. I mean, she was such a charming little thing, smart as a whip, kind and sweet. Oh, she means everything to this kingdom, Alexander, and to me. I'm so terribly worried about her. About her grief over her parents, you mean? Well, the truth is, I do not trust the Wazir or his plans for Kasima. I'm still living at the Castle of the Crown as Court Clown, his clown. But it is more to keep my ear to the ground than out of loyalty. I wish I knew what the princess thinks these days. <sighs> If only I could find Sing Sing, Cosima's pet nightingale. I might be oh. able to send the princess a message. As it is, I must wait for the end of her seclusion. Now I'm afraid I must hurry back to the castle. I'll try to return to the bookshop again later. Thank you for speaking with me, Jalo. I hope we meet again soon. <laughs> um... The, the lip-syncing reminds me of that Titanic game that Su uh, Super Great Friend played. Oh, yeah, yeah, You! Fair, you You've been holding out on me! Could be better. Oh, wait, no, that's the other game. Too many people are losing interest in reading these days. <sighs> it's the voice acting. Hmm? Oh, it's so like... you're telling me. Yeah. How fair are you, merchant? I have been reading... Great. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I have been Great. reading. I've, I've kind of bounced off of reading recently, but anyways, later. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> In the butt. For no apparent reason. That's right. Let's uh, talk to you, mister. Excuse me, merchant, but the ferryman mentioned that you might have a magic map of the land of the Green Isles. Why, as a matter of fact, I do. I keep it under the counter. It's been gathering dust so long that I nearly forgot about it. Especially when we asked you about the Green Isles. It's been a bit. It was quite a few years ago, you see. The it was nice of them to let me save there. It fell into my hands <laughs> when he died. It was useless magical junk mostly, which reminds me. I've still got some things of his in the back that I need to dump out. Anyway... The magic map was the one true treasure the back, in the eh? land. The wizard was quite old and feeble and had enchanted the map to aid in traveling. It is said that one need only desire to be on an island depicted on the map to find oneself there. It is a very valuable map, as you can imagine. Unfortunately, no one is interested in traveling these days. It is far too or dangerous reading. with the current state of the kingdom. What would you take for the map? I would normally want something magic in return, but since I am hardly overrun with prospective buyers, I would be willing to take anything of equal value in exchange. Equal value, eh? How about... this? This mint. <laughs> would you be interested in making a trade for this mint. merchant? Hmm, a rabbit's foot. I do not believe I could use that. Okay. What about the page? Would you be interested in making a trade for this merchant? I have little call for love poems in these stressful times. Okay. How about I was gonna say this? Maybe the book. I took a mint. Help yourself. That <laughs> thief! <laughs> I'll have your hand for that. <laughs> um, what's more valuable than any of those? The ring? the ring? I'm not giving him the ring. If Alexander wants to exchange one of his possessions, if Ale Would you be willing <gasps> to take my family ring in exchange for the magic map? Daventry, 
Are you a king then? No, that's my father, King Graham. I'm just Alexander. Graham. Well, Prince Alex, she is a beautiful ring. Are you sure you can part with such a unique family heirloom? The ring does mean a lot to me. I didn't always have a family, you know. Still, huh? it is only gold. Yeah, and what? <laughs> Was he adopted? Now. Then you now own a magic um, kind of? Keep your ring King's Quest 3 explains that. that. Oh, okay. If you find anything else of great value in your travels, you can come back for your ring. I would hate to see it melted down for gold. Ah, but I'll do it. About the map. <laughs> it will only operate when you are out in the open and within sight of the sea. The limitation has something to do with the teleport spell ingredients. You might try the beach. Thank you. You are very kind. And I'll remember about the map. Please remember that it's uh, the Wi-Fi signal's pretty weak. Suddenly, <laughs> the old man in the so King's Quest three. Alexander, um, Alexander was captured a by a wizard a named Mananin when he was a baby, and raised uh, by uh, Mananin as a slave until King's Quest three starts when he's like eighteen or whatever, shot. or sixteen or whatever. He escapes. King's I Quest see. three is all about him escaping. And um, getting back to Daventry. I gotcha. Master! I follow Prince Alexander as you wished. From the pawn shop owner, he just abstained. I just reprieved. He just got a magic. You've been bow. eating those Altoids again! <laughs> You fool! You've been eating those mints again! I ordered you to stop! <laughs> You're right! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Master! Now, what is this about a magic map? Did you bring any for me? With a map? Prince Alexander could travel anywhere as quickly as... <gasps> quickly as I can! I thought I took care of the only means of travel! By my scimitar. The I ferryman! I'm stirring things up now. <laughs> How you dare. Yourself and listen carefully, Shamir. Go to the other islands and tell Yes, his plan them... was dry rot for years. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the map! Yay! Ooh. You can only use it by... If you're standing on a beach. Okay. Oh, yeah. He'll be back some other time, maybe. On a sunny village street. Great. Alexander. Uh, so go to the beach. Let's get out of here. Oh, but look. Oh, wow. I would not have noticed if you. Oh, wow. Yeah. You should have noticed maybe the music. Yeah, the music did change. Here. Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale and, and whips it at the it bird. On the ground. <laughs> Oh. The mechanical nightingale sings a sweet, tinny tune. The real nightingale in the tree cocks her head and listens intently. The nightingale flies to a lower branch and looks at Alexander curiously, as if she were deciding that this human might not be so bad. Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale. It plays its pleasant tinny tune. The living nightingale in the tree listens to the tune curiously. Can I talk to you now? Hello, little nightingale. No. Oh, of what do you sing? <laughs> the nightingale only looks at Alexander curiously and continues you to sing. You do not have the uh, white snake that uh, Chris Pinifer gave you, so oh. that's not going to work for you. Alexander doesn't want to disturb You can't the talk to animals like Ken Graham. Well, um, the go the back bird, into town. Hoping to that was her. not a it true thing. the nightingale thing. is no lover of the taste of peppermint. Ugh. If it were a spearmint, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Wintergreen. Hey! Nice. Hey! <laughs> Trash! Yeah! Alexander sorts through <laughs> the odds and ends that the pawn <laughs> the shop... The second he puts it out the pot. There. Magic exploding gum wrappers. 
a shattered crystal ball, a cracked wand, a fake thumb. Hmm. A Near fake bottom, thong? Fake Alexander dog finds poop. a little glass bottle labeled ink. It appears to be empty, but Alexander decides to take it anyway. You never know when a small bottle will come in handy. That's true. Mm-hmm. Especially if it's like nice. Yeah, that's nice. Use uh use your hand icon on the barrel on the bottle. Alexander shakes the bottle and imagines he hears a faint swishing sound, but decides he is mistaken. I see. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I know um, what that means. I can I, I... Mm hmm So we're back. I guess I'll swim home. So pull out your map. Alexander pulls out his magic map. His magic what? Oh. <laughs> um let's go to the Isle of the Mountain, the top one. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Oh god. Where? Oh. <laughs> we just need two things from here, and then we can go to the next place. Alexander takes the feather. There's an ugly flower growing near the base of the cliff. Ugly. Give me that. Yeah. Alexander picks the flower and is startled by its hideously strong skunk-like odor. For a moment, he can smell Say. nothing else. Um, save here, and then we'll leave. Now that we're island hopping, things get dangerous. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'm going to run to the bathroom before we hop out of here. Oh, okay. okay. So, hold on, let me get this. That's proper. Oh, whatever. It's gonna put that crown on him. <laughs> oh. I like point and click adventure games. Mm hmm. Um, so the next island I think will be really fun mm -hmm. because um, it's a puzzle island, and if you get it wrong, you die, of course. <laughs> Oh, um, even but you better. Go through, you go through five things that you'll need to use five of your items for, and I want you guys to do it. Sure. So that's what the next island is. Um, I want after to. After you do a little bit of setup, it'll be fun. Okay. I mean, that's the fun part about mm -hmm. adventure games. Ridiculous puzzles that make almost little to no sense. I know, it'll be like, uh, what do you use to... I mean, I think uh, I think of a lot of them are obvious. Oh, okay. For this one. Like, not like the End of King's Quest V, where it's just, like, pick <laughs> four, four random pictures because you have no idea what it'll work. Yeah. Um, except for the dragon. Like, the dragon one, I think, I think was the hardest to pick the bunny. Mm-hmm. Um, the rest of them were... I think you got it. I think, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was still kind of weird, because, I mean, obviously, like, this, the viper or whatever was the mongoose, because... Ricky tiki tabby Um... Mm -hmm. And then, and then the last one, go. fire and water, yeah. is like the only one left. I think the only thing the dragon was like, okay, well, dragons breathe fire, so that's why I thought maybe that's mm -hmm. why I think you would think fire. Okay. Uh, let's. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Next, we'll go to the Isle of Wonder. Alexander feels you could visit these, but literally, sensation. you can't do anything there. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Um, we'll talk to the oyster first. <gasps> One of the oysters is sitting up in bed. And I feel like I've seen much. this too. Yeah. Or at least I've in seen the this talking mouth, oyster. Alexander can see a glint of I don't know. Any, I don't remember anything about it. Yeah, this one's one of the timed ones, and Why we need to talk to him. Like the other oysters? Oh, Pun I'm so weary, but I can't sleep. I have a 
Yeah, yeah this island is great. I love this island. Um, What's wrong with so he mouth? can't sleep. No offense, but it hurts so, to talk. what? Uh, you have a really. You have something for this. I won't tell. Mint. That won't do anything. That would sir. That would. There's no. Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale and listens to its sweet sunny tune. The sweet sunny tune would put it to sleep. No. Okay. Mint it. It's not the mint. We have but Aww. one mint. In... I, know, I don't want you to lose the mint because <laughs> <laughs> we'd have to go back and get the mint. Oh. Hmm. The flower? Colors of flame burst from the center of the incredibly stinky flower and drip onto its petals. The flower's appearance is as flamboyant as its smell. Oh. I know. Read the book. Alexander reads the love poem. What oh. was it when I looked at you? What power has chained me through and through and binds my heart with What's the pink so in the water? I cannot live without the sun. Um, it floats up. It's like uh, being washed up upon the waves. Me and made me the name of love. I feel like we should pick that up, right? It'll get here. Oh, it, it actually the time moves on to the... Yeah, yeah. That won't do anything. There's no reason to use that object there. Okay. Try the book like Katie said. Yeah, read the book. If you're having trouble sleeping, perhaps you'd like me to read to you. Hey, that During would be this great. scene, you're going to have to... He's really bugged by the... Uh... Two Something in his mouth. raised to the degree of 40 half dulcimers, divided into equal parts by the third of a cackle of grouse geese, put over the result of ten fine mackles, albeit small fine mackles, stretched over the total of 53 and an eighth bottles of wild beast lard. Mm. Yep. Alexander makes a grab for the pearl. Love you. Oh, oh, the little oyster drifts into peaceful slumber with the rest of his yeah, oyster friends. Now you can. <laughs> that pink thing is close enough. Yeah. Alexander picks it's a little up worm. the object floating in the water. It appears to be a string of letters. They say, "Where are you going?" Alexander decides to keep the odd sentence, even though it is incomplete. All right, save, and then go wherever you want. Ooh, okay. Ham steaks. Alexander hears someone coming. Five fierce guards of the aisle we be. Watch for a foreign man. <laughs> With ears and nose, tongue, hands, and eyes. Its nature cannot be disguised. If man it be, then man it dies. Oh, I see now. Smell your smell. Do that which you do so well. No. All right. He smells stuff. What are you going to do to make him know it's not you? It's the... Yeah. Alexander holds the flower of stench out to the gnome with the jumbo nose. Tom Troll I am. That's all I'll be. My nose knows all on land and sea. A flower of stench has washed ashore. It's a like, oh god, this hurt. <laughs> nothing more. Blow your terrifying. nose. Sir. Yeah, there. Do your duty as you soar. With your ears, please tell us more. Uh. <laughs> music. Yeah. Or the where? That doesn't say Alexander anything. Alexander winds the tin nightingale and plays it for the gnome with the money. It's crazy that like tear you apart if you get one of these wrong. <laughs> get him, boys! 
<laughs> Get him, boys. Kind of sounds like that Muppet keyboard we used to have. Yeah, it does. The little Casio keyboard. My nose mm -hmm. is not a way to spy. My ears oh my God. cannot be told a lie. A nightingale is all there be. No man is near, and so say me. I hate him. I hate his ear. It's not even all ears. A lot of just skin. Yeah. <laughs> this right. guy, he just like expects to be fed by what? All right, I'll unzip. Alexander holds the oh, no. meat for the gnome <laughs> no. with a gigantic mouth. Grump Flump knows a tasty treat. It matters not what others bleat. No danger is this one so sweet. Thanks, Mick Jagger. So he thinks like a mint just happened to hop onto his tongue. Yeah, for real. Give him the feather. <laughs> Sorry, Kit. Or the foot. Foot? The rabbit's foot or the feather. With hands? Hmm. Yeah, because it feels like. Uh -oh. My hands know what the rest do not. A man is standing on this spot. Ah. Yep. You took too long. Oh, so they do tear you apart. Nuts. Yeah. <laughs> so they throw you back into the sea. Oh no, his They just straight up away. kill you. The gnomes toss Alexander too wow. far out into the sea for him to get his footing. The currents drag him under. What the hell a throw? It's like that golden yeah, boy clip. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you blew it. Oh. Next. <laughs> Guess those gnomes couldn't reach a consensus. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> Boo! I hate it. <laughs> now you get to do it all over again. Yeah. You can click through there. <laughs> yep. Good. Can't click through the, the walking animation, though. That's no. fine. As long as I don't have to look at them. Alexander holds the flop. Listen. Oh. Alexander winds the tin nightingale. Oh my god, it's the slowest winding. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes, we wind it. You don't have to play it that much. Wouldn't he have heard the winding? Like, how does a nightingale make this many noises? Yeah. I'm not a fucking nightingale. Taste grump trump that we might know whether the wind or whether the How are we gonna? Alexander holds the mint out for the gnome with. The How are we gonna get the... by the gun? It's. I think it's either the feather or the foot. Grump flump knows a okay. tasty treat. It matters not what others. I bring. think you could save no right before. One so sweet. Okay. Like right now. Might want to make an. No, you do. You don't have to make an alternate. Oh, okay. Oh, whatever. Now it is. Trilly Gilly. Trilly Gilly. Sure. Alexander holds the rabbit foot out for the gnome with the huge hands. Be all you mad? What aileth thee? A bunny can't trill merrily. A hare does not at all taste sweet. A rabbit here. He's all we greet. 
Oh yeah. So how are we supposed to get by the guy who supposedly sees everything? Isn't that a mystery? Yeah. Oh, Alexander I pours the contents of the empty looking ink bottle over himself. Oh, I get it. <laughs> By all this beauteous, fair and sightly, four morons do I sleep with nightly. There's nothing there at all, I say. Enough of this. Let's now away. Um, I would say go to the right first. When these guys are done. Now they hunt me on the Alexander island. Did it. He's full of <laughs> yeah, you have to keep these. That's why you have to go get another mint. Shit. No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to get another... <laughs> well, actually, you do have to get another another mint, but it's not for those guys. That's you always fine. want mints on you for some reason in this game. That's okay. Wow. Hey, we met a lady bee. A, the tail end of this or our dad met a lady bee. Books, sand, well, um, remember the Ali or Ali said that, hey, wow. uh oh, uh, this was dangerous. I just looked at it. Uh, thank you, I guess. Who are there you? is, yeah, you can do this, um, but it is life or death. I'm Black Widow, I did just course. save. The femme fatale okay. of all femme fatales. Know what I mean? No. That's not an item, I will tell you I that as well. Just thinking it was time I found That's not an item. Be a, uh, um you get cousin. that item, but you it to get that item you don't horror. use an item to get that I item, you do something else. To have me as a bride. Mm -hmm. Just look at my beautiful weaving. It's so light, so delicate. You'll never want to leave my little nest. Hmm. It is a lovely web. That does My heart nice. is elsewhere, I'm afraid. Don't oh, drat! Uh, <clears throat> I mean, the loss is yours. I'm sure you'll. I mean, your you're only the size of his hand. Advantages. It's not an item. Yeah, Ryan already said that. Um. Pull that string at the bottom. Don't touch that thread! Ah, grab the page! Alexander snatches the scrap of parchment, curious to see what's written on it. Oh, it was a page. I thought it was like a piece of the like pottery. Yeah, I kind of oh, thought no, it was a, too. It's a page. Yeah, these are books everywhere. The scrap of paper from well, Alexander's I don't know. Hand, but he remembers what it said well enough. I mean, we have a store that sells stuff that just has a Piles endless of full of mints. I mean, I don't know. Ready to topple at any moment have been arranged haphazardly on the sandy ground. So that's actually something that you don't need at all. But those are extra points. Um, but you're not done in here. Remember how Ali said that he would like a special book um, mm -hmm. or a rare book to trade for the spell book? Um, there seems to be Piles lots of books here. Yeah. books. Look at that green one that's on the right. That is your left. Yes, that one. He did not look where I asked. Do you think you're <laughs> doing? I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize these books had an owner. I'm in need of a rare book. <laughs> no owner. All books have owners, my good man. And not this in the book trash. Owner, bookworm to you wouldn't part with one Say of his mom books on his for bed. anything. Isn't there something huh? I can do for you to pay for the book? Hmm. So does it say mom on his bed? Do you have an itinerant clause? I don't know. No. No clauses at all, I'm afraid. As an exception, <laughs> it's not unless he restocks it, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's uh, it's endless to us. <laughs> The fuck? Don't mind <laughs> oxymoron and diphthong. They're fairly limited grammatical What? You know. <laughs> hmm, let's see. <laughs> A marsh pig that does Texas. That's their names? Uh, <laughs> no. I'm afraid not. A dangling participle? We are the A purple fiddlewhacker? 
You, no, I you don't, don't have so. a dangling Sorry. participle? Any idiosyncrasy, perhaps? Right not. Ha! Huh. Then what good are you? We've got a wear. You do have one of those. There's no reason to use that on a... Alexander has never had a problem finding his own words. That's funny. Uh, you could use your hand to poke him again, and then give him the wear. Or, like, a time Do to give him the wear. Do you have anything interesting yet? Right a click. regular abnormality? Uh, let me see what I have. Sure. Yeah. I have a sentence. Would that do? An incomplete one, I suppose. <laughs> well, we found it in the fucking water, I, actually, so... It is incomplete. Just as I suspected, incomplete sentences are a dime a dozen, where you can literally just find them floating about. Complete sentences. Ooh, now there's something that's hard to come by these days. I see. Sorry. Okay. What? We don't have what we need. We need to complete the sentence. Yep. I guess so. No. All right. Well, Little let's go. Buzz around the books as though the pages were laden with the sweetest pollen. Maybe they're spelling bees. Ho oh, ho 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 ho! Dad would like this area. The dangling participle is in the next area on the left, says Kit. Alright. Let's go! There's more to Wonder Island. We gotta Yo. wander in the one wander in the wonder. Ah oh, yes, the swamp of Wonder Island. You could grab something in here. Yeah. And then you could go on to the next place. It looks like yeah, whatever those are. Alexander takes a bottle of milk from the milkweed bush. <gasps> Apparently the dogwood tree doesn't like Alexander standing that close. I get it. Mm-hmm. The milkweed like... and the dogwood. Alright, let's keep going. <laughs> there's even on... more to go. There's a there is a there is a sassy tree on that right side right there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, just wait. Uh, <laughs> um, we're, do we're done for now, but <laughs> we'll talk to that tree later. Uh, it sounds like okay. his bark was more than his bite. Oh! oh, oh. oh no. Look at all this what stuff here. Mistaken. Those Cabbage plants fish? must be baby's tears. What? Vines of sweet How about baby's breath? Tomatoes climb up little wooden posts. Alexander doesn't want to pick the baby's tears. They may not be done growing. Those you can grab something here. Yet, and Alexander should sure. How about one of those carrot vine. things? You can grab multiple things here. Alexander decides to pick up the hole in the wall. A hole in the wall could be a very useful thing. That's a hole in the wall? Hmm? Alexander stole the poor thing. Get it's the, off it's the, the seven up cars. spot. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander picks a head of iceberg lettuce. Oh, I get it. It's ice. Ye gads! Is that cold? You could grab one other thing here. Alexander yeah. approaches the snapdragons. Oh, uh, you're going to lose your hand. Those unfriendly snapdragons don't want Alexander anywhere near them. How about the sunflower? Those snapdragons don't like That's Alexander. not what we clicked on, that snapdragons. Super not. <laughs> it's not over there, so don't Aww. worry. Get... One of the tomatoes? Those tomatoes yeah, what about the lousy one? one? Ripe yet, and Alexander oh, yeah. It's a rotten tomato. Aww. Mm. It's all grumpy. Hey, what do you think you're doing there? Get your hands off me! Hey! I'm Alexander gonna eat you. picks up rotten tomato and puts him away. One never knows when one will need a rotten tomato. That's true. Uh, for just fun, you can use your talk icon and talk to the lawyer, tomato. You know? Yeah, there's kidnapping laws in this here kingdom. I got Kit a lawyer, S. You know? Oh, hmm. is the participle on the next island? I remember the screen, but I thought it was here, hiding behind. I'm not us. sure. We'll run across it. Okay. 
sooner than later, probably, or soon. Uh, you could go up. Oh, yeah, doors. Close the doors. I thought yeah. it was just closed pizza doors. Nope. <laughs> closed pizza doors. <laughs> no, it he is just chest land. In. Damn. Oh, God. This looks like a... Excuse me. What do you call it? Nightmare. What land lies beyond? What land? Chessboard Early land. Early 90s, 30, 3D nightmare. I see. And is Chessboard Land part of the land of the Green Isles? It is the home of the Red and White Queens, rulers of the Isle of Wonder, fairest of the islands that owe loyalty to the king of the land of the Green Isles. Oh my god. But perhaps not for long. What do you mean? What is the purpose of unity with the great king and queen dead? The princess is worth serving, but the feud with the other isles is strong. Okay. Well, thanks. Wow, they just came to see me. Damn. I must insist, your highness. I shall send the lump of coal to the wizier and the princess as a present for their wedding, and that's the end of it. And I suppose you'll leave me with only this stupid spoiled egg to send, your highness. I want to impress the new king and queen of the realm as much as you do. As queen of this island, I have every right to that lump of coal. Who isn't queen of this isle? The lump of coal is in my possession. Therefore, I shall do as I please with it. Besides, there's nothing wrong with that spoiled egg. The egg, though delightfully spoiled, is not nearly so valuable as the lump of coal, and you know it. Your highness always got to carry the singing stone. It's not fair that you get the coal, too. That doesn't count. The singing stone was stolen by that horrid beast. I should get to keep the coal just because my stone was stolen. It wasn't your stone. It belonged to the Isle of Wonder Treasury. Your Highness always thinks that everything is hers. Me. Excuse me, my good man, but could you settle an argument for us? Sure. Which of us should get to carry the coal and which the egg? Remember, white is the color of deserving truth and virtue. Quiet, your highness, and let him make up his own mind. I, for one, shall be more proper and not even mention the fact that red is the color of love. It's us. I'm color. sorry, Blah. your majesties. I'm partial to both red and white. But I'm afraid that I don't know how to solve your problem. One of you will just have to be gracious and allow the other the lump of coal. What a ridiculously stupid idea! Quite ludicrous. He was a lot of help, wasn't he? Oh yes, obviously a man of high intelligence. Uh. Great. The lump of coal goes much better with it. my gown anyway. Black and red are imperial colors. I agree. That's the silliest yeah. thing I ever heard. Red does not go with anything, being much too self-conscious. White is the perfect accompaniment to any color. Well, eh. Mm. White's all right, I guess. Alexander picks up the red. They both have star. points. Okay, neutral net over All here. Right. Um, we have to go uh, check your inventory. Actually, oh, okay, we could leave to the next island. Oh wow! Can I do that from here? No, you have to be next to the water. Is what the pawn to the beach. Go to the beach. And we'll go to the <laughs> last island we have not visited yet. Wait. The fallen log has a good sized knot or bump. It's a bump on the log. That bump on the log does not look particularly conversational to Alexander. Because he's a bump on the log. <laughs> yeah, and the other guy's a stick in the mud. Just off the ah! It doesn't look like very good swimming. Oh, right there. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. The sassy looking. The swamp. Yeah, we'll think? come back to him. Don't worry. We'll come back okay. to him. Okay. You'll just kill yourself now if you try to do anything. <laughs> we'll be- <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> And it's not even a cool thing, like, you'll just die in the swamp. Alexander like, pulls sink. out his magic map. Okay. Where's the last aisle? We've been... We've... That's the first one. Alexander feels a yeah. strange pulling sensation. Mama! 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 <laughs> 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 Here he is! Oh, look at this guy! A little creature dangling from that cute. tree branch. Aww. Hello, friend. This is who Kid is talking Aren't you about. An odd-looking little fellow. I'm not odd-looking. You are. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't realize you could speak. Speak not. Funny is, speech I am, and nothing but. <laughs> you can get him. You have to give him Won't something. You come down? Come down? Why for? No, you, I do not. Sorry, Marge Simpson. Oh, your iceberg is melting. <gasps> Would you be interested in this? That I like not. Take it away, do. All right. To make sure so it doesn't melt, I guess go up ahead. We'll come back to this guy. He'll be there. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. And toss the ice, uh, light, uh, iceberg lettuce in there. Hoping to cool down the boiling pond, Alexander throws in a head of iceberg lettuce. Thank you, I would not have noticed that. <laughs> the yeah, the iceberg lettuce is a boiling, timed. The they do ice. this time it thing in, with your inventory now. Oh. Or at least with that one. Um, Alright, let's go back to the green guy. I was gonna say, can we pick up that mushroom right there? <laughs> uh, no. Oh. No, you'll die. <laughs> no, it will kill you. <laughs> it won't. He'll just not be interested. Alexander yeah, I was holds say. the sentence out to the creature. This sentence seems in need of an ending. Perhaps you could finish it? Where are you going? Where are you going? No, what I do. Where are you going to? Like you, I do. Go I with you. Aww. Hmm. What is he? Well, he's crawling around his his, his jacket. Oh. It looks like Alexander now has a Thought he was putting it on like a scarf, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> no, he was like wondering. You go talk to him too. No, don't go yet. You have more to do here. Alexander resists the temptation to pet the fawn, thinking he might frighten it. Oh, I could talk Aww. to. You. Yeah, hmm? talk to the thing. Take me home to. <laughs> All right, um, keep going. Uh, you threw the iceberg city. lettuce into the hot thing so we could go past there. Alexander decides to brave the steaming pond. Uh, don't climb up on that little hill that goes around it. Boiling, but it's hardly not... bath water. Oh, you mean now to get over? <laughs> to... Yeah. Uh... An What's old that? abandoned hunter's lamp is hanging on one of the trees. A lamp! Hey! Alexander wonders who might have hunted in these dense woods. Hunter. Alexander is greeted with silence. <laughs> Thank you. Just grab it. sound of silence. I know lamps in these games. <laughs> Alexander takes the old hunter's lamp from the tree. Okay. As Alexander continues down the path, he gets the strange feeling that he's being watched. Come on over here and see what I'm doing with these flowers. Never mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's just there to scare you. Ooh, Let me just find my book arrow? real quick. Yeah. This guy's lying. Sure. What's up, man? Throw a tomato at him. No. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha this time. <laughs> King. Oh. Next. That move was slightly erroneous. 
Yeah. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Uh, go ahead and grab the brick. There's nothing to do there. It's all right, Ryan. There's nothing to do there. Alexander picks <laughs> up the brick. And you can leave. We're actually Throw the brick going, at the man. Uh... You aren't going to listen to me, are you? Well, we'll just see about that. You want a mint? That's odd. The gardener <gasps> just disappeared. Huh, weird. Anyway. That's... <laughs> well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Let's go give creature to the bookworm. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Let me just whip this out here. Uh, Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. <laughs> Perfect timing, Dad. How do you get a squirrel to like you? Act like a nut. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Hello, bookworm. I have something you might be interested in. Well, what is it <clears throat> this time? I found this little fellow lost on another island. Coming home, I am too. There you are, you naughty boy. I told you not to leave the island. Glad I am seeing you too. A most... <laughs> solemn celebration! So, you found my dangling participle. I suppose I'll have to give you something. Uh, let's see now. Was it a rare book you wanted? Yes, sir. Well, then none of these will do. They've been sitting in the sun far too long and must be well cooked by now. This Get it. one is not oh, rare. rare. A delicious uh, little tidbit. Mm. Well done would have been would have resonated mm -hmm. more, but that's funny. Great, we got a book. It's a rare book. Look at the book, or touch the book, or something. That Kiss the has book. Nothing to say. Caress Alexander is carrying a rare book from the bookworm. The words in the binding are very faint. The something something riddle book. Rare. Alexander opens the rare book and looks inside. <laughs> Why, that's human skin! <gash> the book contains riddles oh, hey. and has a page missing. Alexander glances at a few of the conundrums, but finds himself more curious about the one that is missing. What was the riddle, he wonders? More importantly, what was the answer? Curious, and it has the same border as yeah. what we saw. The, the scrap. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we took or this one. Yeah. No, the, the one, one that, that we, we took, took from, from the, the spider. spider. Yeah, he like threw it away. Do you remember what it said? Yeah, the wind blew it away. Do you remember what it said? Love. Yes. That is important for later. Um, let's go back uh, to the kingdom of the Isle and trade that book and do some trades and get some other stuff. Okay. Alexander pulls out his magic map. <laughs> Alexander feels a strange pulling. <laughs> it's a little weird when you get rid of the word sensation. <laughs> or Alexander pulls out. <laughs> um, <laughs> go left and hey, what's that on the wall? Oh. Hmm. Alexander doesn't remember that sign being on the wall before. He oh, decides shit. to take a closer look. Why, it's my face, and it says stinky doo-doo face. It reads, Citizens Rejoice, announcing the royal wedding and coronation of Wazir Abdul Al-Hazred and Princess Kasima. For reasons of security, oh, the wedding no. will not be open to the public. 
Long live the new king and queen of the land of the Green Isles. Well, I guess we lost our chance. Alexander feels his stomach turn at the thought. Might as well give up and go home. Yeah. If he doesn't do something soon, should have shot my shot another when I had wife. it. Oh well. But we were just kind of like the end. There we go. All right. Um, we'll go to the pawn shop, and you could get your ring back. Yeah. Our mm. lovely ring. Your candy dish is empty. I am sorry, sir, but I have no more mints. Somebody has eaten them all. Well, get <laughs> some more, then. I fear that is impossible. Without the fairy, I can no longer get imports from the other islands. And we <gasps> do not grow mint extract on the Isle of the Crown. Oh, I hate not getting what I want. Wah. Me too, buddy. Right. Buy something well, that was very awesome. kind. I cannot yeah. complain. I hope your travels are treating you well, Prince Alex. What do you think Alex you can... Um, oh. Empty. Okay, just oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can trade your Nightingale in and get something else. Hmm. And what you on else I in your inventory of course, would you Prince think you worth please, the ring? something in exchange for the items on the, the book. Alexander looks closely at the No, he keeps saying he doesn't want to make books or the, the other guy's thing. It's I mean, you have that rare book. It is the flute. How'd you know? Oh. It's gotta be. Very good, Prince Oh, you mean to May exchange for the ring or to exchange for the, the bird? The bird. Thank you. So now you oh, don't oh, have the oh, nightingale, but now you have a flute. I thought you were talking about the ring. Oh, now we're talking about the ring. What yeah. can you give him for the ring? Isn't that the book? No. If Alexander wants to exchange... I thought he the wanted book is the neighbors. You just said that, I thought. Pearl. Might it be valuable no. enough to ransom back my family ring? I think I got the two confused... The two missions confused between them. Pearl. Certainly you can have your ring back. Oh, I'm glad you yeah, didn't you found an awesome pearl. I'm a bit attached to it, I'm afraid. Of course you are. You would be cold-hearted if you felt any differently. I am happy to see a family heirloom back with its rightful owner. But now, but you now can Joe, trade you've that lost rare the game. Book. You should not have turned <laughs> in that pearl. <laughs> no, now you got your Daventry ring back, which is great. Um, because we use that as like, you know, identify three times before we oh. traded it away. Looks like we're already outside oh. the door. <laughs> <laughs> Clipped into the wall. Yeah, this is called pawn skip. It saves Joe, about how fair you? And ten seconds altogether. Huh. Prince Alex, how I fare is close to boiling. Have you seen the wedding proclamations around the village? I've heard rumors of the wedding, of course. But I don't I remember his face it, being I that never scary. Thought it would be so soon. Kasima, married. Oh, it is an unpleasant thing to swallow, friend. If only I knew Cosimo wished it. Tell me about the Wazir, Jalo. The Wazir? <laughs> now there's a dangerous subject. His name is Abdul al Hazred. He came to the kingdom 15 years ago. The king was fascinated by his knowledge and his fine-sounding ideas. It didn't take long for al Hazred to convince the king to trust him with the minor problems of daily government. You see, Caliphim had a wife and a new daughter he wanted to spend time with. Al-Hazred became Wazir. And now? Well, he's had his eye on Kasima ever since Chalo she was a young girl. spilling all the tea yep, to you. Yep. <laughs> yeah, right. The only thing between him and the throne. Do you think he means to harm her? Oh, I honestly don't know. I think he'd rather keep her as wife. But whatever his plans for the princess, he will use her to his best advantage. That's his way. Perhaps he is. is there charming. two different versions of this game. Perhaps she cares for him now. The wizard is capable. I feel like I don't remember the sprites looking like this. The portrait sprites. And lonely right yeah, now. neither do I. Um, they're Still, different. Um, I'm guessing if you turned off the speech, that we. Kasima At least you'd get the text, but I don't know if you'd get the old sprites. I remember Jala was like crazy looking, but not this. I Round. Yeah. Castle, Prince Alex. <laughs> and you to your Wonder if it's a detail thing. May we both farewell. <laughs> or maybe Jalo didn't even have a portrait. Like some people didn't have portraits. 
I know the sailor guy didn't have a portrait in the old one. Yeah, Kit says oh, she detail. doesn't remember Jal looking like that either. How That's fair detail. you, merchant? No Sufficiently difference. well, thank you, Alexander. Sufficient. Uh, that turn back up, up the detail. That doesn't. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea what that does. Maybe the fire didn't move. Uh, um, yeah, I actually, I think you're right. I found book. this rare book. Take book. Take book. I thought of your offer. Very interesting. Oh, it is a wonderful riddle book. Riddles are much more marketable than spells these days. I guess people believe more in mirth than in magic. Here is the spell book you wanted, and a fair trade it is, I must say. Enjoy it. I certainly hope so. We shall see how rusty my spell casting truly oh, is. Oh, I will, so which is. Um, they say. Alexander is, Alexander's a wizard. Um, in the third King's Quest, he was cast in spells. This one, he said, how rusty my spell casting is. He's a wizard. Um, <gasps> go ahead and in your, in, into your inventory and put your hand on the book so you can open it and read it. You're a wizard, Alex. <laughs> You're a wizard, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Magic paint spell, Com uh, cup of swamp ooze, river mm -hmm. sticks water, a black horse feather. Okay, we have one of those. Draw. I guess. Alexander carefully reads the instructions for a spell entitled Magic Paint Spell. All right, go to the next page at the bottom right. I think you'll be able. There'll be like a turn page. Yeah. Do the magic rain, few drops of salt water from the sea, a vial of sacred water, not and falling of water. And not from the sea. Like tears. Mm. And falling water. Lots of water to make rain. That makes sense. Uh, charming a creature of the night spell. A skull full of hot oak embers, mm -hmm. a bit of sulfur, brimstone, and a strand of a pure hearted maiden's hair. Okay. Cool. It's well, we got like one thing. All right, we're done. But isn't that fun? Yeah. Um, I don't think we have to do all of those spells to beat the game. I know you don't have to do all those spells to beat the game, so that's kind of fun too. Cool. Yeah. But we will. Um, go back to the center, Kit like says the the tree. Oh, oh yep. What does Kit say? Uh, I feel like there are two versions. Vague memory of having or hearing the town theme being less annoying in the second version. Oh no, the town theme was always. <laughs> so um, now that you have your <laughs> ring like that, um, now who who are you gonna shove your royal tree to again? I say. The clam. No, not the clam. <laughs> Is it the on bird? this island? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It's right here. Just give the you can the give bird. the ring to the mocking bait, mock nightingale. Uh. Alexander holds out his insignia. Oh, there's a snake. The mm. She perhaps uh -oh. is the nightingale that Jallo spoke of, and that she might be able to take the ring to Kasima. The ring is the one thing he has that might alert Kasima to his presence on the. It just yells out the just, castle. That snake gonna get that. The nightingale swoops down and grabs the ring. She flies off towards the castle, perhaps to Cosima. What? Why is she oh, making it? No, she's not. What have you got in your <laughs> mouth, my pretty? She's gonna leave him on red. A gold ring? <gasps> sing, sing! Where did you get this? Realm of Daventry. But this is Alexander's ring. Damn, oh, she put on soul. a lot of. He must be um, here. Eyeshadow. Sing, mm. sing! I wish you could tell me what you've seen. Is he really here then? On this very island? Oh, no. if only I could leave this castle as easily as you. Yep. Take this ribbon, hmm. Sing Sing. If you know where he is, return it to him. Oh, let's buy her the bat wings. Please be careful, Alexander. Oh. It is so dangerous <laughs> and I could not wish you away. I could fly to her window. <laughs> we'll, we'll give it to her. We'll disguise it as a package. And she'll be able to fly her way out. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Yes, yeah, whatever. The little bird <laughs> makes a delivery. 
Well, anyway. Yeah, Bird doesn't <laughs> give a shit if you pick it up. <laughs> Bird doesn't give a shit if you pick it up or not. Could it possibly belong to Cosima herself? Oh my god. I'm merely what? wishing it were so. Oh. Hmm. You should you should uh, touch it like you've been touching all the rest of your inventory. Alexander examines the red ribbon and finds a strand of. I think that might be the last hair. thing we need to touch. We'll see. Probably not. We got hair. Oh, you got a lo nice long piece of hair. So you could give Sing Sing <laughs> another thing. <laughs> oh, oh, we got a nice long piece of hair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that hair. Yeah. Not the tomato. You cannot <laughs> actually try. The tomato might talk. Alexander shows the object to the bird, hoping to interest her. Yeah, just a. The little bird does not appear to be interested in that. Oh. Go to hmm. Casima's below Casima's room and check the tomato up better. No, um, you were in the second page. Yeah, it's one of these. Ah. Well, I think that one was pretty obvious once I pointed oh, it out yeah, the three. The love poem. Yeah. Alexander holds out Because now that you know it's it's Alexander, you can send her a love poem and she'll be like in the chance. This is completely oh, extra. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what was that oh, anime yeah, game key? Where they kept showing that on X Play. That one scene where it's, it's like spinning around him and the, and the girl's the just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Anime oh. game. Sing, sing, yeah. my sweet. You bring another present. Let me see. It is a poem, Oh, I'd have to sing, see it sing. again. I don't yeah, remember. It was a long, long what time ago. <laughs> when I looked at you, what power has chained me through and through and binds my heart with links so Crit. tight? I cannot live without the sight of you. Is it G4 coming back or is it just X Play? Oh, Alexander. I thought the. I was hoping he'd return to you. Most. Take this to him shops? while he waits. Mm. Maybe it's just X Play though. I don't know. I don't remember. I liked that show that was just like cutscenes most of the time. Sometimes they'd yeah. have some weird shit on there. Yeah. Bark, bark. The little bird makes a delivery. Bird, at least put it in front of me. It's a note. You have to fly past me to drop I it. Believe you are here, my friend. Bird is a king. Please, please be careful. Abdul isn't about yeah. to let anyone interfere with his plans. Rule them all. Watch out for Abdul's genie, Alexander, and do not do anything rash. I am not without resources, and I will prevail. These two points were completely... So you know how there were optional points, and mm -hmm. we couldn't really find out what was optional yeah. in King's Quest V? Something like this is completely optional in this one. Okay. Mm. Alexander's hand trembles. You can completely miss it. Or you can send the love poem first, thinking, Oh, that's Sing Sing, that's gonna be the bird, and send the love poem first and do nothing, and you'll lose the love poem. Oh, wow. The bird bird will just fly off with it. Shy or does she bird's like, eh, as a brother? Great, my nest. It's perfect. <laughs> um, cool. All right, so we're actually going to go back to Isle of Wonder. Isle of Wonder. See through the eyes. Da -da -da -da. Alexander Do you know we're gonna his go get at the Isle of Wonder? You guys wanted it before. Stick. Stick. No. Alexander <laughs> <made> <laughs> a strange pulling sensation. <laughs> uh, the baby tears. Sorry. No. Pizza doors. The hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. Hole in the wall. Pizza doors. Yeah, makes go me ahead and uh, go to the hole in the wall and uh, do something. Pizza doors makes me want some pizza. Oh, and there's something on the chair, too. That wasn't there before. Go grab that. No. <laughs> you can't no. trick me. <laughs> There's no trick. Alexander takes the teacup. Poison! <laughs> He's not thinking anything unusual about this. The wallflowers overcome with shit's <laughs> getting nuts Alexander's here. Alexander's approach cluster together and cover the hole in the wall. Alexander can't get it. Because they're wallflowers. That's. I get it. What shall you do for them to. Stinky. Get the wall. 
Um. <laughs> hmm. A wallflower, eh? A brick. <laughs> Music. Alexander doesn't need to. Oh, do I forgot. May I have, have this flipped. dance? I was like, we got rid of the bird. What did we can you do instead? Two. Hey. The snapdragons. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Little delay <laughs> on it. Yeah. Hey. Alexander hey. stops playing the flute, but the wallflowers and snapdragons continue to dance, caught up in the music and oblivious to everything around them. I really like the like two frames of animation of the snapdragons. Mm -hmm. While the wallflowers <laughs> dance, Alexander snatches <laughs> the hole in the wall. Got him. Thank you. All right, we can leave here again. Didn't really mean to do that, but we got our hole. We're actually going to squirm or, slightly. Uh, going to return the flute. We're actually done with it. Hmm. Um, and then we're going to tackle the mountains. Um. What per percentage would you say? Well, I guess I could look at the points, huh? Okay. Yeah. Still a good chunk to go. This is definitely longer than the other. And I, I could tell with all the things we're getting, and also mm -hmm. how quickly some of them resolve, map. and how that still keeps giving us stuff, so. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, we're going to the crown? No. Uh, yeah, go to... Yeah. Yep. yep. Go to the crown to exchange. Alexander feels for the first time in his life. Oh. And we'll return the flute and get something. And the cliffs, um, they are called the Cliffs of Logic. And they were due to copyright protection. So I don't know how it'll handle it here. Okay. Good day, Prince huh. Because um, it, Final Fantasy V, uh, or Final Fantasy, uh, King's Quest V handled copyright protection by just not putting in those pauses. I'll fare you, good but for King's Quest VI, it's actually like this whole... The sands on the ocean there are puzzles. Shore, Prince okay. Alex. Mm -hmm. If Alexander... Oops. Of course, Prince Alex, please choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander the mint looks closely at the items on the counter <laughs> to make selection. I want a mint! I want all of the mints. This. Yes. Is that a candlestick holder? Tinder box. Oh, okay. Good Prince Alex, enjoy I thought it was a jar. Box and bring it back anytime. Thank you. Very good, Prince Alex. Yeah, these yeah. bat wings. I'll take them. Have them delivered to the castle. <laughs> Have them the delivered heading. underneath Cassandra's door. Or Cassima. Cassima. Oh my god, Katie. I once I said it, I knew it was wrong. Unbelievable. I'm tired. Who are we? Who are we even saving at this point? <laughs> Alexander pulls A girl with the name of C. Map. Cassie. Cece's door. CC. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Okay. Wow. Did we read whatever is on that bit rock? Oh, okay. There appears to be something etched into the face of the cliff. Alexander decides to get closer. Well, ignorance um, kills wisdom, elevates. Okay. Try to solve it. The Do you want any hint? I can give you a no. hint. Hand. One may need to read about the logic cliffs in the guidebook to the land of the Green Isles <laughs> in order to understand this mystical inscription. You oh, get it's... the guidebook with the game. I wonder if you got a digital guidebook. I would have to see. 
uh, like out of game. Yeah, that'd be extras. Manual. Yeah, that would be it, probably. I have to download the manual. It's not that big. Five megabytes. I wonder if it's... Oh, resume. On a side note, I called Comcast today, which is usually a harrowing experience. Mm -hmm. uh, but it turns out uh, I have... I got my same internet for $40 cheaper because uh, I saw it on their um, their site. They were they were offering it to me like as like a special deal. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, can I just switch to that? And they tried to sell me Xfinity. And I was like, no. And then... Oh, there's the... Here, hold on. Let me share my... That's for King's Quest V, though. Yeah, I know, but I was just going to show that because we were talking about it. Mm-hmm. I do mm -hmm. capture. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to do that, so I guess I'll just do a desktop capture. There's the symbols, the code breaking. Mm hmm Um. Uh, does it say anything about here about the, uh, what were these called? The logic glyphs. Oh, we might need these symbols. Oh, here, logic glyphs. Wow, I can. That's really blurry for us. Uh, yeah. One of the most intriguing artifacts left by the ancient ones are the logic cliffs. The cliffs are so named from a series of riddles written on the face of the cliffs leading to the from the beach of the Isle of the Sacred Mountain to the Winged One City, chiseled painstakingly, painstakingly into a solid rock. The viewer must question what purpose the words serve. Mm. Uh, blah 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> the first challenge. The first challenge. Only those pure of heart will be able to rise the cliffs of logic. Mm, that um uh that really helps. Oh, that's Go the first up. challenge. So your riddle and that hint. Go up. No. There appears to be some. Oh. Huge blocks of stone erupt from the granite. Good cliffs. job. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really tell you. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna have to switch back to once this is done. Switch back to my. I mean, that makes sense. Careful, <laughs> careful when you're climbing That's the stairs too, because you could trip and fall and kill yourself. Nice. Welcome. Say before climbing, says Kit. Yep, yep. <laughs> On it. All right, one sec. Let me switch back to the PC capture. And I believe you climb with the little person icon, not the hand. Oh. Wait for that. Like to there's show a person up. we have Alexander. to carry. <laughs> Wait for that to show up on. There we go. I did save, so. Yep. Oh, Joe, you're going to have to be very much more specific on each of them. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Alexander loses his balance. What? Whoa! 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 whoa. Ow! Oh. Hey! Joe, you've got a lot of these to do. I wanted oh, to see no. what happens. That's all. Okay. Uh -huh. No, I'm serious. I didn't click over here for her. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Okay, I don't like this one up here. Okay. That one goes good. automatic. Okay, good. Uh, 
I also don't like the cursor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically just putting it so the little man is stepping on what I picture the... Believe to be the... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good. Safe. Alexander examines the oh, God. etchings in the face of the cliff. If you get this wrong, you you die. By the way, <laughs> nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Cliffs of logic. Ugh. All right. Um, but you could go to your guidebook. Yeah. And then what was number two? Uh, oh, number two, you're gonna have to use the alphabet. There. Oh yeah. goodness! Yeah, number two, you're gonna have to use that alphabet too. So right. go. I'm gonna move that scroll to down the... a bit. I'm gonna move okay. that to my other screen here. I also um, grab that manual and throw it in the group chat. Oh, good. So you guys can, can read along. We can and help follow along at home. That's right. If I could put it in the YouTube chat, I would. Okay. Oops, I did not set my... There we go. Princess Essena. What page is it? 38? 19. 19. I don't, I don't know how there are 38 pages for you, but... It says 19 it, of 27. It's on, it's on the actual page. 38. Oh, okay. I, it's cut off for me. So I see what you mean. I, I, it, yeah, 19 of 27. In the face of the cliff. Great. The master okay. of languages will... Uh, and this is where you would use... Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's your hint. And then you use these up here. And it's a four-letter word that you spell out. Alexander is standing but you need the word, so I guess a master of languages will, and what's the and it's answer? A long way down. I don't remember if I did. I did, but... Alexander... Ex Nothing happens. Oh. Alexander... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nothing happens. Interesting. No doubt. Alexander. Okay. So, what do you think a master of languages will? Hmm. Four talk. letter. I guess talk. It's a four letter word. Talk. No. Nope. Um. Uh. Read. No. Well, it's not wrong. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> it's, not the, it's not this one. Uh, think uh, we're going up a mountain. We're rise. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> but we are rising. But right. we're going to see bird people. I don't think you knew they're bird people. Sorry. Nest. Um. No. <laughs> um. Bird. They will bird. No. Um, hmm. Uh. Well. Four letters, right? For sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. If only these symbols reflected the type of. They're just the alphabet. I figured. Yeah, but they all uh, all the alphabet on here is like this symbol represents this. This symbol. Oh represents yeah. That. And I don't know how that's not supposed to. It, it like describes what it looks like the symbol looked like like it has nothing to do with the answer to the puzzle mm -hmm. uh, i was gonna say because there's about four birds that are less less uh, listed in these things so but it wouldn't make up an actual word so 
Hmm. Oh, never mind. There's five. So the rise thing I thought would work because we are rising. And master of languages means we know this You're language. You're on the right path with that one. Yeah. I guess. Like Roll. rising and... Wall. But you've already <laughs> risen, so now we are... Like... I said nest. He said no. It's not yeah, nest. Yeah, no, not nest. Walk? No. We're not walking. We're... Soar. Go up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Soar is good. Soar. S-O-A-R. Okay. So how do you spell soar with these? It's uh, the, that one? Yeah. And then it looks like a spriny... Mm, yep. Yep. And then the box within a box with a line down the center. Yeah. Yeah. And then the R is the bird. Yeah. The stone beneath Alexander's feet trembles as more steps emerge from the granite cliffs. One right next to him just pushes him off. <laughs> All right, now you gotta walk <laughs> carefully walk up the cliffs. No, I don't think I will. Kind of sounds like uh, Tom and or Jerry are sneaking. Yeah, it does. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. This puzzle will help you. This riddle will help you with this one. Four men standing in a row, third from the left and down you go. The rest in order move you on the youngest, the oldest, the and the second son. Nothing happened. Alexander Oh shit. Nothing happens. I don't think that Alexander. as long as you don't hit the third one from the left, you're fine. Which is this um, the youngest is probably to the right, right? Yeah. And then the oldest would be the one all the way to the left. The yeah. stone beneath Alexander's oh, right. feet trembles as more steps emerge from the granite cliffs. For a second, I thought it was going to be like the Silent Hill 2 puzzle with the coins, but yeah. it was not. <laughs> I, thought <they> were, <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. I thought those things were going to like change into like shapes. No. Oh. Like old, old men or something. Old man baby. Old man baby. <laughs> Oh my god. This keeps going. <laughs> oh yeah. No, we're not done yet. They think they're going to catch me snoozing on these rocks. They got another thing coming. Lisa, let you save. Alexander yeah. examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. Sacred four. Eh? Good luck. This one, you actually use the puzzle. Um, so this one, you actually are going to probably look at the puzzle of what they are mm. um, in the alphabet like you were before. Like Katie. the symbol. Okay. Sacred? Yeah. 
I didn't really get that when Katie was doing that, so I'm kind of lost. I'm just reading the little ex what it oh, says okay. next to it. Um, so I'll read this because I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out. The sacred four are the color azure, the emotion tranquility, the animal caterpillar, and the element air. Oh, okay. So azure... I can't find it. Jesus. I was going to say, can you do a control F, but it is just a picture. Yeah, it's not an actual... Uh, azure is O. Oh, so okay. that one's a weird, funky face. Yeah, it's a sad face. This one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What was the second uh, thing? Tranquility, which is D. I remember that yeah, one. It looks D. like the, the rook. I remember clicking the rook on these before. Um, Caterpillars Q. Uh, it looks like stairs with... Yeah, that one. Yeah. And then what was the last thing? Air? Mm, uh, yeah, the element air. Uh, uh, G, it looks like. Yeah. Which is like, like a N with a dot. The stone yeah. beneath Alexander's feet trembles I've seen as more steps emerge before. from the granite cliffs. You're probably... to think what was it Resident Evil 4? Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know what symbols you're talking about but I don't think so that N with I don't the, remember symbols like that the square in it with the dot seems familiar oh. to me for some reason that was dangerous I looked at chat <laughs> this is the last puzzle, I promise. <laughs> well, they make it harrowing. Yeah. That they I make don't want to for it. I don't want to fall even though I saved right before this, but Alexander examines the strange etchings in the face of the cliff. Uh, ascend. All silent. Oh. <laughs> the stone beneath Alexander's. I mean, I, I could I could read you the riddle if you want. from the granite cliffs. It says those with something something will ascend. Uh, the fifth challenge. Those of the higher order may, all in capital, ascend ah, okay. the cliffs of logic. Yeah. The way that uh, the narrator was saying it made it sound like I was about to fall. <laughs> the oh. stones from beneath Alexander's feet is what I heard. I was like, ah, oh, well, great. I misspelled ascend. Do 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 Tickets. Oh. Next. Is he supposed to say something else there? But that tickets was oh. a very logical step. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. Tickets. <laughs> Oh, look who it is. Alexander finds himself <clears throat> finally at the top of the cliffs. Exhausted, he steps over the lip of the plateau and stands. Why do you make such an effort to climb the cliffs, young man? The winged ones who live on this island have the power of flight. You could have it too. If you'd only eat a berry from this magical flying nightshade bush. Your legs, they shrunk. Oh, they came back See? up. 
The sweet berries will make you float like a petal on the wind. Try some. Well, okay. okay. Whoops. All right. I'll try some of your berries. Oh, goody. Eat quickly, dear boy, and I'll show you the way to the Lord and Lady of this Isle. What? <laughs> Slightly bitter, pretty one. Tickets. Oh. Next. <laughs> Again. Tickets. And there's some land <laughs> I have for sale on the death bogs of Tamir. Uh, you just ignore her and Trishley goes away. The huge doors are locked tight. Somebody obviously wants to keep something out or something in. Mmm. Nope, shut up. You don't want to go back there yet. You want to ignore her. Just be like, boop, 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 boop. The huge door. Somebody obviously. Or actually, you could start oh, going back right down the cliffs then. of logic Spit and just come back. To the ground like or... a load of lead. See if I care. You, 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 human. How odd. The old woman just disappeared in a cloud of smoke. Perhaps oh my god, if you haven't figured that out, buddy, come Alexander on. To believe. I don't know, it's weird, man. Uh, go ahead and save, and you want to actually go into the cave where those nightshade berries are. Just don't touch the berries. You have to use your finger. Oh, that's so... Oh my god, that's... Alexander crawls through the okay. small <laughs> opening in the lock. Alexander finds himself in a dark cave. Hmm. Do have this. Mm hmm Alexander takes the candle from his tinder box and uses the flint in the box to light it. Oh, nice that it came with flint. I feel like this game's a little. Feels his pockets carefully to make sure he has like this game's what? a little less garbage, not garbage, like uh, about instant deaths. Alexander oh yeah, crawls mm -hmm. seems a lot better in that respect. Whereas, like, I don't know that how many like times he could fall into a river. Maybe that swamp the cave any... is better. The swamp. Alexander extinguishes the yeah, if you walked into the swamp, he would die. It back in his pack. Uh, you want to grab some of that green stuff. Alexander takes a few leaves from the plant. Take some of that so, green stuff. A strong smell of peppermint is released. Sticky icky. Ah. Oh, peppermint. A. Eh? Mm -hmm. Ah. The window in the rock. Okay, is too so you can walk uh, Alexander to fit through. Out of here. And then go north. Alexander crawls back into the first room of the cave. Save before you go north. Alexander can't see it. I can thing. come out of the cave though, right? You should be able to. Since it's so dark, Ale Oh, apparently no, not. Just, oh, that's my cue to save, just in case. <laughs> Alexander takes the candle. I wonder what the speed run is for this. Alexander crawls mm. back through the passage to the top of the cliffs. Like ten minutes. Oh my god, that'd be crazy. Look, an intruder! Hold! How did you get up here, human? I climbed the cliffs. That is not possible. No one has solved the Cliffs of Logic in several centuries. And if the Cliffs were to be solved, it would certainly not be by a human. I... I didn't mean to trespass. 
I only wanted to visit this beautiful island. No visitors have been welcome on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain in years. Not since the Red and White Queens had Not spies since we were on the from guise Merwin. of friendly visitors steal our island's <laughs> sacred golden fleece. But we will not display such foolish trust again. You will have to answer to Lord Azure and Lady Ariel. They will determine what will be done with you. I can assure you, it will not be pleasant. Why did you put, like, all these riddles to get up the mountain for us to solve? Cheated. Sounds like... You cheated. Yeah. We're gonna kill you. Whatever. With what trickery did you master the cliffs of logic and reach the city of the winged ones? We use logic. Only the magic of clear thought, my lord. <laughs> I meant no harm. The cliffs of logic. It is the sacred oracle's prophecy, Azure. Yes, man, Harry. that man has a rectangle head. It is lucky yes, he for you, you very <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Climbing the cliffs of logic yeah. is part of a prophecy that I cannot ignore. We have just been ordered by Wazir al Hazred himself to dispose of any strangers that might land on our fair isle. But the prophecy would have a different fate befall you. The prophecy predicts that whosoever climbs the cliffs of logic will defeat the Minotaur. The Minotaur sure, yeah, has why violated not? our sacred catacombs and eats oh, our God. <laughs> Our own daughter, Lady Celeste, was taken there only this morning as his most recently demanded offering. A dilemma, then. Nothing we Who could do. Oh, well, I guess she's dead. Oops, crown. I didn't mean it. I might. But since <laughs> Alhazred did not dictate how I was to dispose of intruders, and since you cannot possibly survive the catacombs, your imprisonment there should serve both purposes quite admirably. Oh, hey, Phasma. I yes, we have 483 this, subs, I guess. I shall do my best oh. to save Ooh. your daughter. Yeah, I almost had 500. Hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. First, I must tell you. 500 the by the end of the year. Of the rooms, a place of exceeding danger. Maybe. You will need well, many tools and clear. Remember last <laughs> Thanksgiving? Uh, at I am ready. The table. I was saying, oh, I'm almost Very at 300, well. and then my guards will take you there now. Uh, the folks That's at the table uh, sub, so I would get over there. How brave you really are. I played completing the mission yet. Completing the mission? Is that a game? Uh, I don't know. Why does that sound familiar? Whoop! <laughs> what? What? Just the music cut and just. Why did you yeah. tell Lord Azure you were ready and willing to oh, fix no. the catacombs? No one is ever ready, and only a fool could be willing. And you are far wiser. <laughs> you barely uh, uh, adopted to the catacombs. To not fight this plague on your own people? Bravery and suicide are two different things, human. You will have a chance to renounce your choice soon enough Lord when you it. lay trembling He looks under very Romanesque. We shall see. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the escort. We only escort you to your death. May the fates make it quick so that you do not have to scream long. So you don't have oh, to scream shush. long. <laughs> really, you from gotta keep doing Henry... that scream thing again? <laughs> from the Henry Stickman the collection. Door is I have no idea what that is. By the winged one's guards. Uh, it seems um, I'll guide you through the catacombs. Door is not an option. Okay. Because I think there might be a map in the guidebook, but I'll just guide you. Okay. Um, walk north. North again. Is it like this, Phasma? East. 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 Oh. Alexander hears the distant north. sounds of a wild animal somewhere in the maze of rooms. Markiplier oh. played it like a week or two ago. Hmm. And grab a skull. Alexander picks up the skull. Gently. The skull is as silent as the grave. Aw, man. <laughs> Go back south. And then go back west and west. Oh, no, Kit. <laughs> I just remembered how you beat the Minotaur. <laughs> and then north? Oh, it's a Newgrounds game collection. Oh. 
so faint as to seem born of his fired imagination rather than of any living creature. Should I save? Y you didn't. Okay, go. Oh, they re-released it on Steam. I see. Interesting. And then West. Is it like West of Loathing? No. Ah. Yahoo! Want to hear the... um? It's like a cheesy or thing. I see. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, riddle is three roses lay upon the bower, a scythe <gasps> for he who cuts the flower, a crown, a dove, most noble race. Thy bones make sacred this dread place. Okay. Um, if I click on that, is that like stepping on it or is that um, will it show me a top down view so I can actually see what these things are? Nope. This is the view you get. Alexander can see nothing to do with the tiles except to walk on them and hope for the best. <laughs> okay. So, three roses. Mm hmm. Not that three. Alexander feels the tile he's standing on shift beneath his feet. Uh oh. Remember. <sighs> <laughs> 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 Whoa! Three spikes Whoa! Out. Remember that hair picture that you had with the teeth? Yeah. That was in. The, that's in that thing. Oh, okay. That's old. Yeah. That's old. Well, it's new grounds. It's old. Yeah. So it's when actually the one t above you that rose. The oh. Alexander feels the tile above. he's standing on shift beneath his above. feet. Above. Oh, I didn't see that uh -oh. through his sprite. I do like how quick that is. <laughs> I feel like those don't look like roses and they look like rats to me. Well. Well. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you want to go that one? Do you want to go to the one you just stepped on and died as the second one? You yep. can do diagonal then? Yep. <laughs> and now diagonally down again to make the third rose. Oh, I see. What? And what then the you fuck? Wanna go, and then okay. you want to go up up one scythe. Yeah, one north, scythe. To and then to the, the crown. Then to the what? Because then it's a crown, a dove, thy bones. So, cr Alexander. Uh, where are you going crown. down there? It's a crown. The crown was above you. I was telling There's you. Another no. crown above. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have spoken too soon about the stupid deaths. <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay, yeah. Rose, 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 scythe, scythe upper crown. crown. The dove is to the up and left. Yeah, that right there. And then the, the, thy bones. So the do the bones that is, yep, right there. Anything else and you would die. Okay. That's silly. Um, uh, <laughs> walk one screen north. Grab the shield. Alexander takes the shield from the wall. Combat. North. 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 West and west. Uh, grab something. There should be something like sparkling. Alexander finds two coins on the skeleton's eyes. Nice. He takes the old coins. Walk back east twice. Yeah, you could save. East and south. And then east again. It's a trap. The doors have sealed Alexander inside. Okay. What are you gonna do? Brick. Mm hmm. And the ceiling is coming down. Oh, sorry, I didn't let the narrator finish. Move. Alexander throws a brick into the grinding gears. I need to throw it. The brick Alexander is watches the brick cogs. as it gets the gears caught. Alexander is also the mechanism getting caught. Grinds to a halt. <laughs> the ceiling is stuck. 
The trap is sprung. Right, let's take that brick back. No, I can't. <laughs> Look at the skulls on the side, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. East. Now go east again. Oh, yep. So is that mouse telling you where to go? No. No, I think North. you gotta wander a bit. And then east. Sounds a trap Whoa. floor. All other trap floors will kill you. This one doesn't. Whoa. Alexander seems to have fallen to a lower level of the catacombs. Wherever he is, the place sure is dark. Alexander can't even see his hand in front of his face. This is doing wonders what are you for gonna my do? Rub the lamp. <laughs> mm. Alexander takes the candle from his tinder box and uses the flint in the box to light it. Aha! So that's why it's dark in here. A torch if is... you stayed in the dark too long, Alexander the minotaur would the come and kill you. Torch oh, really? And puts his tinder box away. <laughs> yeah. Uh, walk west a lot. And we want to go five screens west. So one... Two, three, four, five, and then south twice. And then east. Yeah, I think the only way to do this is you wander around and then trial and error. Hmm. Alexander hears the sound of a wild beast again. This time, so loud that the creature itself seems to be in the same room with him. The noises are coming from the other side of the east wall. So, what would you do if the noises are coming from the other side of the wall? Walk to it. <laughs> and... Use an item on it. On the wall. Yeah. Alexander yeah. The hole in the wall on the east wall. The hole in the wall trembles slightly with dread at the clammy feeling of the stones. Look at the hole in the wall. Nope. No, no, put it on and, and look at it. Alexander yeah. Okay. Puts the hole. <laughs> Not Alexander pick it up. <laughs> peers through the hole in the wall and sees. Awkward. Just another room in the catacombs. <laughs> Minotaur changing. Oh god, it is. Aha. Not just another room at all. So that's why Alexander couldn't find the Minotaur. So Alexander leg. and the Mil Minotaur run at off least together, Alexander right? Alexander now mm -hmm. knows the mm -hmm. exists somewhere in the maze on the other side of this wall. Hmm. <laughs> Reading rainbow. We have to go way around, seen, so... The hole in the wall, frightened by the Minotaur, makes a run for it. Alexander hopes the little creature finds its way home to the Isle of Wonder. Yeah, you, did, you didn't help him at all there, did you? West, go west again. And another west. And go south. And then go south again. Then go east. Uh, never done that. South. Well, obviously. Uh, east. Sometimes I'm not sure if it's just a hole, like to for me to see, or if it's actually a way. But I know. And then is. east again. If there's not a big rock at the bottom, I guess you can't go yeah. down. See those. And then north. Then east. And then north. And north. Ta da! You made it. To the picture. A very beautiful, very dusty tapestry hangs on the wall. Hmm. This tapestry looks familiar. Now let's see. I don't feel anything. Aha! A hidden latch. Alexander triggers the little latch. A secret door rolls open. Oh, because we watched him do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I was like, what do you mean looks familiar? Yeah, if you came here, you wouldn't know what to do. If you didn't see him. Your struggles are useless. Your struggles. It's the Minotaur, <laughs> and he's struggling with a winged one's girl. She must be Lady Celeste. Uh. I was trying to think of, like, Lust We Whatever with Celeste, but... Uh, oh. I'm hoofing it. All right, well, later. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Alexander was lucky he wasn't seen. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought we were supposed to save her. You are. Still struggling with the Winged One's maiden. Unhand her. Alexander steps further into the room. The <laughs> she screams for help. You there, human. Help me. Help! Don't point me out, you fool. <sighs> we both be dead. Enter my lair. Oh, it's I the guy from Harvester. Suffer the consequences. Oh yeah. <laughs> dark, dark core. Never. Yeah. You die, human. As the Minotaur advances in attack, Alexander slowly backs away. Oh. Why don't you get the red Until cloth out? Until I can back away no more. Now where to, little man? Ah. <laughs> God. <laughs> get the red cloth. This one? Or the ribbon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, I think you're Alexander, gonna do like his a back yep. inches yeah. from the yep. fiery pit. Tempts the Minotaur with the Red Queen scarf. This is dumb, Look here, but whatever. You bully. Nice, bright red. So red. is this fire behind me. Now you die. <laughs> oh, let! Oh love, God, that was I, fast. I love this, the, the high drops speed. The <laughs> from sight amidst the consuming flames. Slowly, his scream fades as well. <laughs> yeah. Have you Toro, been Toro, Toro, this kid. Are you all right? No, I am not all right. I assume you do not intend to leave me. Minnie, on this it's Minnie Mouse. It is Minnie Mouse. Uh, of course not. Sorry. Let's see. <laughs> Your crown if is you just. Give me a moment. I know I'll I have these untied in no time. I can't wait that long. Look, I wear a small dagger just inside my belt. It should be enough to cut the rope. Oh, all right. I, I've got it, Lady Celeste. Here we go. Oh, Minnie! Minnie, are you over? Oh! Thank you. <laughs> you may keep the dagger as a gift. Oh, man. My life. That's very generous. Forget it. Do you mind if we just get out of here now? Get up with that loser, Alexander, are you? Oh. <laughs> that walk. The winged one's <laughs> guards, bored with the pointless waiting, are startled by the sound of rock moving against rock. Huh? Lady Celeste, find thee well. I'm quite well, thanks to the bravery of a mere human. So much for your superior intellect. Yes, me lady. Yes. Now bring him along. <laughs> I'm going home. I'm sorry, my lady. <laughs> I, def I definitely don't remember that portrait. She's <laughs> kid says. <laughs> no, no, I think her portrait is new. I yes, my lady. Yes, my lady. Come with me. The prophecy. Well, I am expected to thank you for saving my daughter's life. So I thank you. So thanks. I Get am out. obliged to thank you for the restoration of our sacred catacombs. It means much to our people. We have already begun people. the process of clearing the deadly traps from its rooms. It is also my duty to grant you a visit with the Oracle. So this I do. I will grant you the freedom I'm the to Oracle, leave me. here unharmed, despite my orders there, to you've, the contrary from you've the been granted. But there, my obligations to you end. I have no love for Alhazred. But he is my liege, and if Princess Kasima trusts him and wishes to wed him, my guards will take you to the Oracle now. When your time with her is through, 
I want you to leave the city of the winged ones and never return. I don't know who you are or what you're holding hands, but I will not disobey my crown further. Hey, maybe. I thank you, Lord Azure. I will respect your wishes. Okay, we're gonna come into the landing over here. Just hold on. What? Hail that was a thee, quick great cut. Oracle. Lord Azure sends you this wingless mail. It appears that he solved the cliffs of logic and defeated the Minotaur in his lair. So I have seen. So this <laughs> is the one that haunts my. Oh, from you never. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, told what? Anyone. Sorry. Sorry. What does he do to your world? What knowledge do you desire? <laughs> She Princess did get the prophecy. Cassima. She Whatever didn't tell it was a human, though. Ah, mm. uh, uh, of course, the princess. That explains my images. Let us see what we can see. I see oh no! Lovely and pure, soup. <laughs> but surrounded by evil. <laughs> the ham is <laughs> is made of picture. <laughs> It is her fate to be the part of dark power. Chunks of ham coming up, looking like a Zima. <laughs> to try to redeem her. I don't know what these black flecks are, How though. How do I redeem her? <laughs> fate is not like the cut of a blade, young one. I wouldn't mind some split pea soup, actually. Like the myriad of power that sounds good. When a hammer cracks ice. I will tell you what I can. But what will actually come to pass is up to you. I see that any attempt to reach the girl will force you into battle. A struggle against a dark force. If you lose, your life will be forfeit. Who must I fight? A me! Darkness oh, shit. Adversary, preventing me from seeing clearly. I can only make out the shape of a black cloak. But before this final struggle, I see an infiltration. A dangerous game of hide and seek in corridors filled with enemies. The risks are high, but it is the and the only rewards are low. Way to reach the one you <laughs> seek. There is more than one way into this place. Your choice will dictate much. What else do you see, mighty oracle? Oh, no, oh, don't mind that. Pain. That just does that from time to time. I see two <laughs> restless spirits crying out for revenge. These shades could help you destroy the Dark Force if they were to be brought back from their spiritual form. Yet this is only one possible path to your destiny. I'm afraid this is getting beyond me. I know very little about the afterlife. I can only advise getting counsel from the druids. Be warned. The druids are reclusive and dangerous. They might aid you, or they might destroy you. Like their island, the druids' nature is hidden in the mists. There is nothing more I can do for you, except to give you this. Mwah. It is water from the sacred pool. That... And my blessing go with you. Thank you, great oracle. Here you go. We got what? sacred water now, too. What did the oracle tell you? Okay, well, well see never you later, mind. bye. bye. <laughs> uh, you guys are All both right, druids well, in D&D. Uh, in &D. Yeah. Uh, would, you, yeah. would you help Alexander? I would. Well, let's see if these druids do. Um, is that a good place to stop for tonight? We're about three hours. Mm. Um, let's visit the Isle of the Mist okay. real quick. Sure. And then when we're done with that, uh, it's real quick. Alexander You'll see. pulls okay. out his magic map. Which Isle? Mist. Ho, ho, ho. Alexander yeah. is a strange pulling... From the north.
northeast come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Well, that sounds cool. I think I just did it, but oh well. There, actually, you went the right way. So you need to... Um, if you went to the northeast, they would have killed you. <laughs> the druids oh. are not nice people. So... So, <laughs> there you go. Alexander is hey guys, what's up? Spectacle before him. Robed <laughs> figures are gathered around a bonfire. It's Mystery of the Druids. Some mystical <laughs> ceremony is taking place. But as to its purpose, Alexander has no clue. Brothers, look! Uh-oh. Alexander's been seen. This must be the foreigner we were warned about. How appropriate that he should come during our rain festival. Place him in the sacrificial cage. Wait! I must rescue the princess! There's an ancient druid saying, a man who would save others must first save himself. Alexander I just beat a Minotaur! Come on! <laughs> and the cage is swung out over the bonfire. Alexander starts to feel a little warm. Oh, this is a long Bottom death scene if you can't do anything about it. Hot. Yeah. No, no, no. You should not have gone Alexander this way. Is getting you are punished hot. with the scene. Mercifully, Alexander passes out from the heat before the first tongues of flame ignite the wicker. <laughs> Look what you melted. Tickets. Oh. Tickets. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit too hot to handle. Alexander should have been better prepared. I'm guessing we go there eventually, so it's important to see that there's maybe a way out. Um, you grab two things from here, and then we'll leave the island. Alexander can think of less desirable. Alexander. 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 To take the path. Al to take the path. To no. take. To take. Okay. T -t 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 take. Alexander reaches into the fire pit and takes a lump of coal. The doors to the tree houses are bolted, and Alexander doesn't want to intrude into the private dwellings uninvited. Hmm. Alexander. Oh. Alexander takes the scythe. Yay! Let's get out of here. From the east come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Did I take too long? Okay. <laughs> no. From the northeast come the sound. Can you, can you fall uh, in the water here? Actually, uh, probably you could fall in the water anywhere. As it appears, underwater currents tug at Alexander's legs. Oh yeah, I'm that's your like your warning. Yep. And then if you keep going, it's like you're done. <laughs> uh, what'd you say? Uh, go to the Isle of the Beast, and we'll end there. Okay, Alexander. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Think we'll be able to finish it next time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I say this without knowing anything about it. This is um, definitely a better point and click in the way of, like, I think the puzzles are better, uh, but it's still very mm -hmm. much a Sierra point and click game. Oh, yeah. And how quickly they can kill you. Um, and I also think that I I think I like the like the trading quests in this better, I think than five. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of trading quests with all the items and stuff and different items and I like how they have the pawn trap and everything. Yeah, and it's then the, the different islands That's are cool. It's, to... it's just like King's Quest Five, but like updated and better. Yeah. And the story is fun too. You're not Graham, but. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna do it for then for tonight. Thanks for joining, Kit. 
Uh, and also, thanks for joining Ryan and Katie. Mm -hmm. um, tune in uh, Thursday for some Majora Mask, Majora's Mask fun. Uh, and then uh, Saturday we begin Control. Yay! Hey, Ryan, you, you should also uh, start thinking about what you want to play after this. Oh, I have. If you've checked your uh, list, I haven't checked it twice though. So, oh. um, <laughs> I have put in uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Oh, sweet. Ooh. Okay, cool. I did see that that had three X's, but I wasn't going to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I um, took it. Cool. Uh, that'll be fun. I I do look forward to that game. Um, and how weird it is. I will need your input. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's going to do it. I'm going to end the stream. Uh, have a good night, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.